It's time for season three. This season that we're about to enter is like the season I hear from everyone in chat. Like everyone in chat always says it's their favorite season. It's the best season. Like I only hear good things about season three. So I have high expectations. Oh my god, thank you, Keone. Oh, my mod Keone made a playlist for season three and he tried to find as many um HD videos for us to watch. So thank you, Keone, Mr. K Matos, my mod, for doing that for us. <clears throat> All right. It says the playlist does not exist, though. This is <laughs> Luminosity X Choco Bars, bro. Maybe there is an extra letter in it. Uh, Vixeny, three, three months. Welcome back to Tito Army. When you're happy, I'm happy. Thank you. Um, I'm going to play ads. Yeah, I'm very, I have high expectations for season three because chat like says it's it's just the best, their favorite. Yeah, I always hear praise about it. So it better be good. Awesome. Uh, Mew Mooney, thank you for the prime. Welcome. And follow in the footsteps of Jennifer. Visit. I'm just going to check out the site. www.masterchefcasting.com how to audition for Master Chef season eleven? I'll suck my dick, bitch. Step one: You are strongly encouraged to pre-register your profile and pick your open call location in advance. Option two: Make a video. You'll need to do this if you cannot attend an open call. Like, I could probably attend one, but I don't want to. So I would make a video and be like, hey, guys. Dude, they would so have me on. No, I don't want to go. I don't want to go on the show. I'm just looking. I was just taking a little bit of a pixies. Chat, um... I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little bit of a rumble coming down... ...in my stomach, as in, I might need to go boo-boo real quick.
Yeah, we're starting the new season. I my duty called. Duty called. We're good now. We're good now. Hello. All right, let's do this. No, I'm never doing supernatural reactions again. Chow was so mean. Is this going to spoil if I just watch from the beginning? is the Master Chef Kitchen. Where for one home cook, dreams will become a reality. We're looking for one stunning dish. You show us who you are through the food that you do. That inspires me. Very, very brave and courageous cooking. Amazing. There's something quite magical about the way you it connect It was quiet. I turn it up. Thousands came from all walks of life. I am a bartender. I'm a pilot. I am a physician. I am a hairstylist. I'm a senior in high school. I'm a rock musician. A I'm a senior in I'm high school? Traveling from all corners of the country. New York City, Chicago, the 
Washington, D.C. All coming together to share in their passion. Oh, my for God. Food. This is one of the best things I've tasted in a long time. Oh, my God. We created a restaurant-quality dish. It's absolutely delicious. Yeah! But only a few will be chosen to work under the guidance of three of the biggest nasty. names in the culinary Choco world. Dan is three, thank me, two months. Welcome back, thank you. Innovating, trying things with food no one would ever dream of. Joe <laughs> Bastianich, in high school. the hallmarks yeah. of a master chef wow, are look at all elegance, that wine. sophistication, and finesse. And of course, Gordon Ramsay. A true master chef cooks every dish as if their life depends on it. A master chef was perfection on nasty. every plate. <laughs> Go. Start Those who make it will face the toughest and most dynamic challenges in MasterChef history. Looks like a horror movie. That is a disaster. That is disgusting. Oh my god, stop! You're spoiling it, you freaks! Why would you do that? God, these directors need to be this editor, whoever fired. Fired. The passion and the love and the skill it takes to make great food. I think MasterChef is going to be the springboard for my future in food. I think about food every day, like all day, every day. Me too. The opportunity to go into this MasterChef kitchen live. is the opportunity of a lifetime. Being here represents that I can do this and make this my life and a career. I have a lot of confidence in my cooking and I'm ready to go. This is Luminosity Coming to MasterChef as the bars, first bro. blind contestant ever doesn't intimidate me at all. Oh my god, she's blind. My dream of becoming a chef is just as real as anybody else's. Wow. Now, 100 home cooks will get the chance to present this one dish. This all seems like spoilers. Yeah, what forever. the fuck? All will lose the moose. Thank you for the four months. Welcome back. Call me Shane. Thank you for the five months. Welcome back. Thank you. America's next. Master Chef. Monkas. Ooh, Gordon got a haircut. Wow, he looks good in that haircut. Clean. You should all be very, very proud of yourselves. So did Joe shut up. Yeah. Cooks across the nation Pox tried to make it here today. They failed. You succeeded. <laughs> so you've got to ask yourself, do you have what it takes to make it to the top? Do you? Someone in this room is going to earn, and I mean earn. Wow, you Order of a million dollars. I hope it's fake. <laughs> Do you guys think that they like put fake money there just to show it off? Now, how about fame, notoriety? Look, if that's your goal, cooking isn't the quickest path. If you're good, you might Prop get money. up in a magazine, get a few lines in a great newspaper. But even some of the most accomplished chefs in America don't have one of these. Your what own is that? Cookbook. Imagine your face on the cover of this book. Your signature recipes. But there's one final box. And what's under it is the real reason why all of you should be here I'm gonna today. I'm going to turn it up a bit this more. It's a little quiet the for me. To the reality of your dreams. Whoa. We care about one thing, dude. And like one thing only. Like what you put trophy? on the plate. If it's subpar, Why can I not find the right you're words? Going home. If Actual physical trophies are so one of satisfying. A master chef apron. Yes. You all want <gasps> one of these. I can <gasps> see it. But be careful what you wish for. Because once you put that apron on, your life is going to get harder 
than you could ever imagine. <gasps> what, Can no one's going to gasp at that? Are you ready? Which one of you is the next master chef? Okay, we are starving. So don't just stand there. Get cooking. Good luck. <laughs> that's so me. Yo, that is so me. Like crying already because it's like, no, no, no. She is me. She is me. It was just so inspirational. You like imagine yourself winning it all, and you just want to cry. From the thousands who applied, <laughs> 100 home cooks have been invited to Los Angeles. Chat, They'll I cry just one easily. Hour to create I would a cry. signature dish worthy of a Master Chef apron. First up is cry when I'm mad, cry when I'm sad, Michael cry Chef. when I'm excited, cry when I'm happy. Seasoned as a chef. Oops, sorry, your break. He believes his appetite to win makes him a real contender. Why is that on? Some people here have been cooking longer than I've even been alive. But I think that experience is only part of the recipe for being Michael, a great cook. what are you doing? I've never doing? used this kind of meat grinder before. I don't know how it works. I'm here because I've always loved cooking. I've always had a passion for it. But especially for my parents, cooking has never Ooh, been a very what's reputable he making profession. Wonton? And they've always wanted me to pursue something that a and wanton? instead. And I'm here to really prove to myself. Shalom Ba, to what are you making? Around me that cooking is something that I do well. Come on, stick. No, I meant to be here. I'm supposed to be here. This is where I belong. Each home cook is given just five minutes to plate up their dish. If two of the what three is it? I don't know. It it takes, some kind of dumpling. I'm trying to figure out what kind apron. though. Shalom Ba, Sanji Ba. Wonton. Hi, Chef. Hi. Howdy. What's your name? Michael. Michael, where are you from? I'm from Austin, Texas. Great, what are you cooking? I am making Chinese dumplings with a cilantro and scallion salad and also homemade chili oil. You've got five minutes. All right, thank you so much. Are you still at school? Yes, I'm a freshman in college right now. Got a girlfriend? No, I'm actually gay. <laughs> boyfriend? You got a boyfriend? No, I do not, I'm single. <laughs> I'm 19, I, didn't, I don't believe in dating before high school, really. You're very proper, aren't you? <laughs> That's how I was raised to be. I like to follow the rules. My dad the told time. me I wasn't allowed to have a boyfriend until I was like, married. You wanted to be a cook? It's like, Dad, I want to be a cook and I'm gay, by the way. Uh, no. I actually came out to him right before I came to MasterChef. And well done. Kind Embrace of. it. Yeah, Absolutely. I don't want to hide my <laughs> true self. You've got no reason to either. Yes. Thank you, Chef. Time's up. Amazing. So the secret of a good dumpling is the burst of flavor inside. Yes. What should I be expecting inside there? What have we got? I mean, you should expect like, a lot of good flavors. There's shiitake mushrooms, the sesame oil in there, some soy that sauce, so ginger good, and scallion though. in there. And you should be able to taste that right away. And I hope you enjoy I it. I love me some good dumpling. Oh! Dude, you guys, do you get the Trader Joe garlic, crunchy garlic yeah, listen, chi um, that's chili? That's <gasps> oh, no. Texas beautiful. Oh, it's seasoned good. perfectly. Great job. <laughs> Thank you so much. There's like a Trader Joe's sauce that's really good with dumplings. Highly recommend. Yeah, crunchy garlic chili oil. No, That's what good. it's called. <laughs> really good. That's delicious. You Your so dad's much. gonna be super proud. Aww. Uh, Michael, let me tell you, I 100. percent I'm one of the most confident yeses ever Aww. in this competition. Really? <laughs> well done. I'll go out one more and say that you, with that kind of technique, if you could bring it to other kinds of food, you could go on and win this thing. Yep. Well, thank you. It's a big yes. Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> what up, buddy? Yeah, congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Put it on and wear it fried. Yes, I will not yeah? disappoint you guys. <gasps> He's yeah. cute. It's incredible. I've never been trained Aww. like that before. I mean, it just really validates all that I've been working for until this point. Like, just to have chefs of those caliber to say so many good things about my food is incredible. Dude, validation is all anyone well, really wants. First class. <laughs> These next few dishes are in a class all of their own. What are you cooking? Frog leg egg foo young. Frog leg egg foo long. Young. Young. Yes. Oh, excuse me. I have a smoked <laughs> shrimp. What? It looks like a skid mark. I mean, <laughs> honestly. I like that, though. <laughs> Ew. Visually, it oh, looks like God. vomit. I bet it tastes good, though. 
Uh, I've got a homemade bow tie for family pasta. It's like gnawing on a rosemary branch. I made a mussel soup today. Oh. Oh, oh. Ah! Uh, tastes like Oh, my god. The inside is raw. Seafood stew. What was that? Two things I like about this dish. It's white and it's round. <laughs> so where are the frog's legs? In the egg for you. Oh! Congratulations. Thank you! On the worst <laughs> dish in this competition so far. have to go back her celebration <laughs> Thank you! on the worst dish in this competition oh my so far. god no way our next home cook has survived she a life so happy down the slide i'm a single mom from los angeles i have a son he's two his name is danger He's gonna love me for that later when he's in college. We got divorced a couple of years ago. I thought, let's blow on it. I left my job right after I had the baby to be a stay at home. You named mom. your kid Danger? It's tough. I'm on a budget, unemployed. I have $50 in my bank account. We live in a very tiny, it's better than like 100 square foot room. I feel like this is whatever the heck. I need to start over again. And do Kanye something and Kim really and them are naming their kids. I don't know what I'm gonna do if I don't get the apron. <laughs> I really don't. Welcome. First name? My name's Monty. Monty. Monte Carlo. Stop it. What are you cooking? It's a Puerto Rican shepherd's pie, and there's a green plantain that's fried twice. You've got five minutes to blow us away. So you're a single mum? <laughs> you're a Yes, sir. How many children? I have one. He's two and a half years old. His name is Danger. <laughs> yeah, Danger. He was crying. It was like a What's black the, uh, tear. food ambition? Where are we going with this? Because we're I eyeliner. You've got one minute left. Oh, my gosh. Here it is. OK. Kim, what are you doing? We've got no idea. You're running around from left to right. You've made me dizzy. This is awful. <laughs> Don't I sell it well? Are you done? I didn't have time to finish my sauce that I was going to make with it, the mojo. I got a little nervous and all caught up. I hope you guys like it. It's with chopped olives, capers, raisins, cilantro. Cilantro. It's a little sweet, but I think it's pretty delicious. Oh! For real? It is. Shut your mouth. I swear. Oh my God. Thank you very much. Right. The recipe comes from where? Is my grandmother's recipe? Desperate needs a sauce because it's dry. I don't know if I buy this shtick. What? Single mom with a son named Danger, and, and your name is Monte Carlo? That's not a shtick, that's my real life. She looks fun. She looks like, yeah, she, she's like fun. <sighs> Graham, yes or no? I like the dish. I think it's rich and it's complex, much like you. And I'm a yes. Thank you, Aww. sir. Joe, yes or no? Monty. I don't know if I buy it. I think you're giving me a shtick. I think you're faking it in the plate, too. Dude. It's a little bit overly sweet. You can't so say I'm gonna that. Pass. I'm going to say no. OK, do you guys know Shorty Guy? He's like a streamer <laughs> on Twitch. I was like, what's your name, Monty. by the way? And he's like, yes, Guy. Sir. And I'm like, no, seriously, what's your name? You. I don't think your head's in the game. <laughs> His name's actually I Guy. <laughs> that was so embarrassed. Monty. Yes, sir. <laughs> I've never met someone named Guy. <laughs> the judges have had quite a plate full of Monty. Oh my gosh, here it is, okay. A spirited uh, single mom who, <laughs> so far, has left Joe and Graham divided. I'm gonna say no. And I'm a yes. Now this her master chef dreams are in the hands of Gordon Ramsay. For the seven months. Welcome Monty. back, thank you, yes, sir. I'm sorry. Oh, sir, I know I'm not the most experienced chef here. I, I guarantee you, I'm one of the most passionate people you've ever met, and I will give it my all. I'm sorry, but you will not 
Be seeing danger. Be seeing your son for a while because you've got an Oh my god, I wrote this well motherfucking script. I'm back. This is delicious. It's rich. It's comforting. And yeah, I think there's more to you. Aww. I can put this on. Thank you so much. Good job. Thank you so much. Well, I'm sure she has someone taking care of her kid. Like a sister, babysitter, so friend, this mom, this dad. Kind of opportunity. This is just the beginning. It's going to be a fight every step of the way, but I'm a fighter, and I know I can do it. So Monty passed the test. Can New Jersey high school student Samantha McNulty make the grade? <laughs> I go oh at my an God. Catholic school. Indeed, she is one of the 100. I love school. I definitely am one of those kind of students. This, this, and then that. My passion for cooking came from cooking with my dad when I was about 10. Keep he would always Pearl watch like, the Food Network, and I got interested, and I think it's you. fun to create something. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm ready to go. So to young. To the world to me. Oh, my God. Oh my god, remember when outfits like Welcome. that back in the day were like in? I'm Samantha. From where? New Jersey. How old are you? 18. Wow, one of the youngest. Yes. Uh, what are you cooking, Samantha? A mini quadruple layer carrot cake with cream cheese frosting. Oh yeah, I'm You've got five that. minutes to get this dish done. Your uh, love for food comes from where? It comes from my parents. Yeah, I know I'm about really Master into Junior. Nutrition and I hope to study that when I Master go to college Junior next year. What are you doing? I put raspberries in some water that has some sugar in it just to get rid of that tartness just a little. Nice. Are we done? Yes. All set. So basil yes. with the carrot cake, huh? Oh, yes. the one that's looked delicious. Relax. Don't look so nervous. <laughs> he doesn't bite. <laughs> and he loves desserts. OK, good. <laughs> Trust me. It's got a great mouthfeel. Very moist. Thank you. She should be around your age. Oh, stop it. Hmm. Stop. Sit tight. Love carrot cake. <laughs> um, how long have you been baking? I guess I've been baking since I was about 10. Right. It's very, very light. So much lighter Man. than it looks. Was that on purpose? Uh, yes. I wish I did something cool cheese, when I was maybe, young. As you stack. What was my passion yeah. when I was 10? Joe. Samantha, I think your cake is actually quite good. So based on I'm that, fucking no. I'm going to say yes. I'd like to see what else you can do in this competition. Thank you. <laughs> Graham. You know, it's moist. It's got some good technique to it. However, I don't think it's Master Chef quality. So for me, it's a no. Yeah, I played video games. So it leaves it up to Gordon. But like, this is uh, so cool, too, though, you, you know? My parents and my sister and my brother. Can you go and get them, please? Sure, I'll go get please? them. Thank, Thank you. you. Like, they want to see you guys. Aww. <laughs> There were kids who like were like really good at sports, and then I was in my bathtub making so like this is my family. things with like shampoo and Mom, Dad, shit and all that. Like, little sis, brother, welcome. And that was me as a kid. Uh, we're all stuck in between a rock and a hard place. This competition is fierce and it's highly competitive. Don't let the bow distract you. Mm. She can do it. Oh, this is really hard. Um, Samantha, young, talented, tenacious. I would like to see you. Come back next year. Did I write the script? It's the moment of truth for 18-year-old high school senior Samantha and her multi-layered carrot cake. I'm going to say yes. For me, it's a no. With the judges' votes split, it's now up to Gordon Ramsay to decide her master chef fate. Oh, this is really hard. Um, Samantha, young, talented, tenacious. I would like to see you. Come back next year. Come back.
come back next year. Oh, no way! I don't think you're quite ready. No for the next stage way! Of You're new to this. What? And I love the passion. Word for word. What I'd like to see you do. Oh my God. This is spend more time in the no, kitchen. No, I swear. Go on that journey. <laughs> but start off and climb slowly. I think you will grow. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye, guys. Thank Wait, you. I freaked out. Wow. They go buy a lottery ticket. It's okay, though. But I'm super inspired to continue. This is Holy America's shit. next master chef next year. Thank you. While Samantha's master chef this show is just predictable. Hold, others hit all the right notes. La, 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 la. You got your heart la, 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 on your sleeve, la, la, la. but on the plate, yes, the apron. Thank that was so and wild. Holy fuck. Master chef aprons okay. follow. I'm here to win this competition. Will 26-year-old Ryan join No, I swear on my life, chat. From living I in swear. East I didn't watch this beforehand. I used to be spending thousands of dollars a month I'm on these just nice, fancy food food restaurants. But I realized to myself at a certain point, I can go home and I can do this on my own. And not only can I do this at home, I can do it better than they're doing it. Pressure cooking is the best. I could do something that would take three hours to braise in 30 minutes. I'm the flavor oh. elevator. I'm going to keep raising the bar. And then once we get to the top, going over the top, America. And first name is? Ryan. You've got five minutes to blow us away. What are you He's cooking for my age. Today? Red wine pressure cooked short ribs mm. with corn pudding, roasted parsnips, and glazed cipollini onions. What do you do for a living? Um, right now, I'm not working. So you've been unemployed for how long? About a year and a half. It wasn't that I couldn't find oh, it, no. Gordon. It's that I just didn't find what exactly what I wanted to do yet. Uh, Ryan, most people don't have that luxury. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm using the ring mold too to make oh. it a nicer presentation. I know that those people have a lot of skill, but I just don't think that they've been working nearly as hard as I've been working. Excuse me, oh. you've been out of a job for 18 months. Working in the kitchen is what I meant. Okay. Not another ring. I just wanted to make the sauce fall out perfectly in a circle. <laughs> Hold on, you put sauce in a ring? Just I wanted it to come out well, to a perfect the circle sauce, when I lay it down. Ryan, sauce you've had too much liquid. time on your hands. It's nice to see you're not sticking a short rib in a ring. I don't have any rings that size. It didn't even stay in a perfect <laughs> circle. OK. Short ribs. In an hour. In an hour, pressure cooker. That's intense. It is intense. All right. Did break apart with a spoon. I want to cook short ribs in a pressure cooker. Adrian did it. This guy did it. They're cooked beautifully. Thank you. Wow. Very much, I'm buying a fucking pressure cooker. I can tell you're bored because you've got very fancy in areas where you don't need to be fancy. I'll lay off the rings. I promise. I know I can do this. <laughs> I'm not entirely convinced. Then I'm slightly pissed off with the pretentiousness of the way you present food. Short rib sauce doesn't get ringed out in a cutter. I've never seen anything so <laughs> stupid in all my life. <laughs> so for me, it's a no. Oh. The short ribs could have been better, but it was ambitious to try, and you did get them cooked through in an hour. It's the a yes for me, because I that. like to do but it was still a good one sauce. one ties. I am going to give you a yes. Thank you very much, Graham. it's up to one. Jack. <laughs> it's a little bit going on instinct, because I think you're right there for me. You're, like, right in the middle. I'm ready to represent Master Chef to the best of my ability. It's up to you. No, what's it going to be? I think... Ryan, a 26-year-old from Manhattan, is hoping his red wine short ribs are good enough to earn him a Master Chef apron. I, I think you're yes. right there for me. You're like right in the middle. With a yes and a no, it all comes down to Joe. Step around here a second. It all comes down. I mean, at to this point, Joe. for me, if I give you an apron, I'm kind of like putting my name on your lapel. I don't know if I want to hang my hat there. You know, like. It's a good place to hang your hat, Joe. <laughs> this guy. Trust me, I'm telling you, <laughs> I can cook. I really like his commentary. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Is 
Oh my god, is that his brother? They look identical. He just looks like a bigger version of him. I'm about to flavor blast my way to the top. They look so similar. So Ryan takes a oh my god. In the next round of the competition. We have chips! Can these next unique home cooks join him? Oops, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Well, Gordon Ramsay, I watch you all the time. From where? I'm actually from Baltimore, but I love doing this accent. It's my favorite thing. I'm a former cheerleader. I interview serial killers, and I try to understand why they do it. I teach belly Cool! Dance. Wait, she's cool! Crushes. She interviews oh, serial killers. Well, hello, beautiful. Ew! This is called the hip twist. Master Chef is the show. I can win. This I know. Oh, wait a minute. Graham, you're a spicy man. You oh. spoke to me. Kelly, don't get upset, darling. We haven't tasted the food yet. I know. <laughs> and this is the figure eight. And then we have the snake. It's like a Beyonce video. It tastes like a pig's toenail. Yeah, I <sighs> that one up. I got one hour sleep last night because I was so in this stupid dress. It's worth it. It looks fabulous. I'm ready to take the criticism. It's coming. Give me an N. N. Give me an O. O. Sorry. No. It's a no. So another group of home cooks are sent packing. Let's see if 24-year-old Josh from Mississippi so can tall. measure up. I'm seven feet tall, and oh I'm a God. championship basketball player. I play at Tougaloo College in Jackson, Mississippi. Yeah. When people look at me, they immediately ask me, oh, do you play ball? Do you shoot hoops? I'm like, no, nah, <laughs> I shoot onions into skillets. <laughs> My passion is cooking. Poor guy. It kind of transitioned from hooping His to His body was to built for, like, for basketball. Being an athlete and coming from an athletic background, we play to win, and I'm not settling for anything less than that. Sure. Welcome. Good to see you up there. Thank you. <laughs> First name? Josh. What are you cooking for us? I prepared shrimp etouffee oh with God, a little bit of jasmine so rice. I'm going to fry up some shrimp for you. You've got five minutes. How old are you? 24. Wow. You're still growing. <laughs> Any uh, chance of NBA for you, or you missed that boat? Never missed the boat. I mean, I'm still young. My knee's still good. I could definitely do it. So what are you waiting for? I want to be a chef. That's why I'm here. Last two minutes. This is my heart. This is what I do. And Hopefully, you guys pick me to be your next master chef. That's it. Great. That looks great. A two fake. How would you rate that out of a 10? I would rate it a 10 and a half. Wow. Yeah, I'm six foot two, and you make me feel like <laughs> Danny DeVito. Oh, my god. Um, yeah, it's got, it's got heart. Thank you. Without doubt. You know, it looks wow, like a Wow, the height dish, difference. But more importantly, yeah, you cook like a pro. Good job. Thank you. Pretty good job. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> and you cooked it down with the shells? Yes. Come on, Graham. You're acting like Joe. Who taught you how to make that? <laughs> me. I did it myself. This is all me. Straight from the heart. See a little smile there. <laughs> Everybody's smiling. Don't get overexcited. We've left bigger guys than you out of here. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, I this exchange didn't think is it was so wholesome. It tastes as good as it did. Um, you've got passion, clearly. There's a talent there in that bowl. Uh, I'm a yes. Two words slam dunk. I think you can cook like a, like a badass. Congratulations. Congratulations. Aww. Do not step up. Stay there. <laughs> <laughs> you crying? Oh. Man, just excited. Well done. Great job. Thanks. Congratulations. Thank you. That was good. That was yummy. What? <laughs> Coming up. Wow. That is Whoa. dope. The judges oh, take a no. good look at themselves. Oh, no. Look at Joe. He looks like They're a granddad. They're falling. <laughs> and just when they thought they'd seen it all. Wow. In the history Stop of the Mom's spoilers. Shipping. Hurry. Just want to watch. Don't tell me what's going to happen. So far, the competition has seen some spectacular successes. Slam dunk. And some epic failures. The worst dish in this competition so far. As the chase continues for a Master Chef apron. 
Shani comes to MasterChef from Seattle. But her cooking is grounded in her African roots. I am originally from Zimbabwe, and back home in Zimbabwe, girls are expected to know how to cook. So it's been a part of me my whole life. I don't really remember a time without me not cooking, me not being at the stove. Getting an apron means uh, the world to me. It'll be a dream come true, not only for me, but for my family as well. I'm so excited. Hi. She looks How are you? pro. First name is? Shami. Shami. Yep. Beautiful name. What are you cooking? I am made a traditional Zimbabwean dish called sadza, sadza. ne huku ne muriwo. When you eat it, you want to feel warm in your throat. Let's get warm. you got five minutes. All right. What is it? It's made from cornmeal. It's got really no taste whatsoever. So the sauce that I made is a chicken curry. And I'm going to make the vegetables, which are collard greens in a garlic, tomato, and peanut butter sauce. Great. Mm, if you think of yourself coming out of the sauce. fields in Zimbabwe, you've had a hard, long day, this is what fills you up. <clears throat> There's been spoilers. Oh, like oh chat. Yeah, keep it in emo-only mode. I actually like emo-only mode a lot. When I played Doki Doki Literature Club, it was like my favorite single playthrough game because I had it in emo-only mode. <clears throat> And no one could spoil anything or say anything. It's authentic. Mean. That's what you've got. Um, you've definitely got a heart on a plate. Let me tell you. Slightly confused the collard greens with peanut butter. Yeah. Is that's that classic? how we do it. Sometimes there's no meat back home, so they're going for the sure. protein. So they add the peanut butter because meat can be kind of expensive. Thank you. Mm. Joe, yes or no? I think that plate is a complete <gasps> mirror image of you. I see oh, you in the plate. Oh my god, I, I thought he was missing. I see your ethnicity, I see your personality. Something bad. And even with a couple of defects, it's a big uh, resounding yes for me. Yay! I totally appreciate what you're trying to do. It really, really needs seasoning. So, for me, it's a no. How I'm sorry. dare you? I like I totally her. Supplementing the peanut butter for protein. I get Peanut that, butter but... sauce looks bomb. Is that Master Chef? Yes! I always sit in my hot pot meat and peanut butter sauce. Apron! 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 Oh! oh. But disappointment soon Note turns to, to delight. Self. Great job. No Thank peanut you. butter As more sauce. Hot cooks walk away with an apron. Which brings today's total so far to 11. 11. Oh, he looks interesting. But has this next hopeful figured oh, out how cake. to get her cakes ahead in the competition? I can't believe wow. this spoiled this part. That is dope. Look at Joe. He looks like a granddad. <laughs> is Joe smiling or not? I actually no. found one picture on the internet wow. of you smiling. Bloody hell's bell. And you need a bigger base for Graham. Pick you have <laughs> Oh, Damn it. Graham just killed over in his cake. They're caricatures. They're not supposed to be exact. It's actually delicious. Thank you. Very really delicious indeed. I want to eat it. So oh my god, it's the Texas best thing they've eaten an today. And for the very first time, delicious. Gordon has Oh my god, they keep saying it's delicious. Can tonight's uh -huh. final home cook? End the day on a high. I'm Christine from Houston, Texas, and I'm a graduate student. Was she the one who was who is crying with the cheap pal? I love food. I love eating it. I love creating it. I feel like regardless of what your background is, your gender, your religion, food is something everybody has in common in this world, Aww. and so I think food is what connects people together. Okay. I'm definitely a competitive person. Cat loves I really Christine, want to get this I apron. Think. I am here for a reason. I'm supposed to be graduating school, but I've set aside my thesis to get an apron and become the next master chef. Oh my god! Wow. Wow. She's the one that's blind. Wow, I had no idea! Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <clears throat> the whole time she was getting interviewed. Um, 
Welcome. Thank you. Um, first name is? My name is Christine. Christine, in the history of MasterChef, we've never had a blind contestant. Welcome. Thank you. The Thank you, gentleman Jeff. with you? That's my husband. His name is John. Right. Great. Uh, what are you cooking? I'm cooking Vietnamese comfort food. It's a catfish braised in a clay pot, and I pickled vegetables wow. to go with it okay. and uh, some rice. OK. Christine, you've got five minutes to complete that dish. Thank you. Just in front. Just in no, front? No, you were there. Just a little bit higher, darling. OK, thank there we you. Are. Thank you. Christine? Yes, chef? Were you born blind? No, no, chef. Um, when I was um, maybe about 10 years ago, I was diagnosed with a, an autoimmune condition that affected my nerves, my spinal cord, and my optic nerves. And so I lost my vision gradually over the past 10 years. In your mind, you're visualizing what you put on a plate. You Yes, that's correct. You know, I felt the plate and things like that before. And oh my um, God. a lot of it is oh my on, God. obviously my memory. Do you ever think that your disability somehow could be an advantage in a competition like this or just in cooking in general? Yes, chef, please excuse my chewing. Yes, it is. Because I can't see, I won't be worrying about what other people are doing. I love the fact that you're tasting everything. Uh -huh. I have to. I can't see. <laughs> One of my teaching methods with young chefs today is that we put a blindfold on them and they understand Correct. the texture, the taste, which is accelerated quicker when your eyes are closed and you're concentrating purely on the senses. Yes, correct, chef. I'm so scared when she cuts. My rice did not turn out um, to par, so I'm not, I'm not serving it to you. Are they gonna do... Okay, I guess I'm done. Thank you. Are they gonna do the cutting Catfish. challenge? How do you cook it? With some caramel some that I made by challenge. just caramelizing sugar on the stove and using coconut soda as well, mm -hmm. and with shallots and garlic. And the base of the broth is made up of what? Fish sauce. Um, you, love chef. the fact that you kept the fish on the bone. Why? Catfish is just, it's really tender, and I didn't want to pick it apart and make it look unappetizing, so I left it as a steak. I think it looks more appealing, and that's just the way uh, Vietnamese people eat. <sighs> you know, you're going to be judged like everybody else in this competition. Yes, chef. Um, the dish does need the sort of stability. It's a staple, done beautifully, but missing the rice. Yes, Chef, I understand. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. So what's the idea behind cooking it in the clay pot? It's supposed to aid with the uh, quicker caramelization and braising of the uh, product you put inside, Chef. OK. It's got a beautiful aroma. Thank you, Chef. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Chef. Hi. Hi, sir. I'm Joe, obviously. I've heard you uh, give me looks, but luckily I can't see it. Look, <laughs> 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 he's giving her. She can't see it, Joe. You she have can't. a great advantage. <laughs> As you talk about your food, not only are you able to express it in words, but your face speaks volumes. Yes. Your eyes beam with happiness and pride and passion. Oh! And uh, you have a lot to be proud of. It's Thank a, you, sir. It's an amazing, amazing accomplishment. Thank you, sir. That is the nicest thing I've ever heard Joe say ever. So right, like her eyes. They just they sparkle. Okay. Joe, yes or no? 100 percent yes. Thank you, sir. Graham, yes or no? Um, everybody has a story and has things that they have to overcome. Judge solely on that dish. Yes, Jeff. I'm a yes. Oh, God. Thank you, Chef. Your personal challenge aside, Yay. for me, that's one of the most delicious dishes I've tasted in this competition so far. Do you know what I'm going to give you? A 
white apron. A white apron. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I'll come and get it. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Jeff. I mean, really, good job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well done. Thank you. touch that they all complimented me on my food and they believed in me so I feel ecstatic <laughs> for everyone in America you can overcome anything you want to overcome and get what you want to get and I'm gonna be the next master chef <laughs> tomorrow night on master oh, oh, wow. was she the one that was crying earlier going back I want to see it <laughs> Okay, we are starving. So don't just stand there. Oh no, that wasn't her. That's someone else, huh? I was just wondering. I mixed them up. This is Luminosity X Choco Bars, bro. Uh, Woozy Gabe, thank you for the two months. Welcome oh, back. So Kill Pop, thank you for the prime. Thank you. Look, look, look. I had to confirm it. All right, we're going to play some ads and we're going to watch episode two. Shout out, chat. Don't laugh at me. Yo, pop. Um, I want... Oh, wait. I have a donut. I was going to go get another one. <laughs> I didn't even finish my first one. Yeah? We could take it off of emo only mode. There's just so many people that might. I'll suck my dick, bitch. I'll try not to read chat too often. This is luminosity. Just to be X safe with spoilers, bars, bro. Um, coal red sticks. Thank you for the prime. It's X Neil. Thank you for the six months. Welcome back. Thank you. I'll suck my dick, bitch. Uh, Dayhan88. Thank you for the sub. Welcome to Tito Army. When you're happy, I'm happy. Thank you. Where's the um, beginning of this? I'll suck uh -huh. my dick, bitch. Flute monkey, thank you for the prime. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mmm. Fuck that donut so good. Snitchell was I don't know, kinda dry. Man, I feel like a Master Chef judge. It was, the mashed potatoes and the Brussels sprouts are really good though. I didn't finish it all yet though. I'll probably eat the rest. For a late night dinner thing or something. I'll suck my ah. dick, bitch. Lim three head, thank you for the prime. Welcome to the Tino Army. When you're happy, I'm happy. Thank you. Yeah, when I eat now, I feel like mmm. I said that donut. That donut, I just like cannot be picky. The chocolate glazed Krispy Kreme donut is just like. That's a fucking donut. So good. Limb three head, thank you again for the prime. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we have 10 seconds left on the ads, and then I'm going to start see, uh, episode two. All right. 100 were chosen to present a signature dish to the Master Chef judges. I'm about to flavor blast my way to the top. Some prevailed. I think it's pretty delicious. For real? It is. Shut your mouth. Can I put this on? Are you crying? Oh. There we go. Tonight. Holy You are kidding me. The competition continues. Can you open the door, please? As the battle for Oh, kidding me. 
It's day two of the auditions, and more home cooks from across the country arrive ready. Regal Kane theme the five months. Welcome back. Best season, ten out of ten. Yeah, everyone says this is the best season. All that I am passionate about. I'm here to show the world how this southern boy can cook. I'm gonna win Master Chef because of the passion I have for food. That's the bottom line. As the judges take their places for round two. Anticipation is in the air as the first batch of home cooks create the dishes that could change their lives forever. It's a once in a lifetime M opportunity. And thank you for the it's sub, up. thank you. One hour can change a lot in my, in my life. Now, the that guy's wearing a full on suit. This. Nobody out here will work harder than me. All right, let's do it. First up to face the judges is a feisty 24 year old food server from Los Angeles named Felix. this apron. I'm gonna get it. I'm not gonna beg for it. I'm not gonna tell you a sob story. You just have to taste my food. After their one hour in the prep kitchen, each home cook is then given five minutes to complete their dish in front of the judges. If two judges think a home cook has what it takes, they'll be awarded a Master Chef apron and move on to the next round of the competition. Hello. Good evening, gentlemen. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. First name is? Felix. Felix. Yeah. Okay. Off you go. You got five minutes. And what are you gonna cook? Um, I'm gonna make a crispy risotto with a steak tartare on top. Did you just swig out a bottle? Don't be is that sake? by the cover of the book. Is there a little <laughs> wild firecracker underneath that demure look? Demure look. <laughs> I'm kind of a wild card. I say what's on my mind. I'm straightforward. So say what's on your mind right now. What are you thinking? Joe, you're gonna walk away with the culinary <laughs> after you eat my risotto. The culinary okay. what? Hey, love you long time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Enough. Oh, come on, bring it over. Let's play. Finished? Finished. Oh. I'm just gonna slip this off because I'm ready to put on another one. <laughs> As opposed to the spicy tuna, the idea of the beef tartare, where did that come from? Well, it goes more with risotto, and I love steak tartare. Let me just stop you there two seconds. Risotto goes with steak tartare. Well, not that it goes with, but it's more hand in hand than risotto and spicy tuna. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it looks great. Oh, there's wasabi on this side. The tartare is under season, so it's sort of almost like it's underwhelming because it's just like a big clump of raw. Beef. Um. Hmm. <laughs> she looks okay. shocked. Oh, a little dark here. It's slightly charred. I'm at Repook. Thank you for the prime. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Joe didn't even eat the like bottom part, just the meat. <laughs> no, I would stare back. But it's on the verge Don't of the blink. Because Look you're back not really at delivering. Joe. Until For me, he it's a no. First. I couldn't That's disagree I would more. Do. I think that wow. it's. Um, you disagree or not? I thought I mean, it was giving you my version. Um, I thought it was really good. Fine. Ah. I thought the rice was good, crunchy properly seasoned. The tartare was also good. Oh, I'd like to see more. I'm going to say yes. Thank you. All right. Well, it comes down to me, and here's my thing. You know, I, I do appreciate taking the inspiration of the crispy rice from the sushi world, but I would have rather seen a, a full-on commitment to it, you know, going straight on Asian and getting rid of those other flavors, you know? So it really could go either way. You're gonna cry in the tartar. At what least the you're hell, Abe? It. Shut up. I think you have what it takes, and I want to see more. Yes. Come get your apron. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Don't take things for granted. Don't get too cocky before we even start. All right. Thank you. Good luck. This is mm. not a <laughs> Fooled again, JB. 
really thankful that they gave me this opportunity. And Gordon's I have no idea so not happy about that. Hey, thank you for 25. Let's welcome back. Says fuck While you. Felix's Toxic. Paid off. Can a oh. man who grew up halfway around the world follow suit? I love you. My name is Luca. I was raised in Aviano, Italy. Now I live in New York. Restaurant, and I'm a restaurant manager. manager. Oh. My love of cooking came from my mother. Since I was young, I would stay in the kitchen with my mom all the time. Luca doesn't know it, but that time's here again. His mom has secretly flown in from Italy to support oh. his master chef dream. Buongiorno. It's uh, unbelievable. I mean, I still That's think so I'm dreaming. It's like, I don't think she's here yet. I, I really don't know if she's here. But what kind of oil are you going to be using there? Bravo, thank you, Mama. You saved my life. <laughs> Win the title of MasterChef for me would be the best thing of my life. It would open the doors for everything I want. Io sono il nuovo MasterChef. Forget about it. Good evening. Buonasera, signori. First name is? My first name is Luca. The smartest contestant, let me tell you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You like it? I look good, eh? Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> uh, what are you cooking? I'm cooking fegatola veneziana. I like him. Ah. It's cult flavor, Venetian style. Brilliant. You've got five minutes. Scusa, say, say ven veneziano. So friulano. Say frullan. Si, io so da Trieste. Triestino. Triestino. Yeah. Allora, cosa pensi di questa situazione qua? Penso che la polenta sia attaccata. What are you saying? He wants to know who the blonde guy is, <laughs> so I was trying to explain to him that it's Gordon Ramsay, and he said, who? <laughs> That's it. One minute left. I'm gonna I'm see it a little bit the liver. Bravo, alla grande, dai. Fegato la veneziana, signore. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. Whew. That's Grazie a good mille. joke. What do you put cheese or butter in the polenta? I put Parmesan cheese. It's a Parmesan cheese polenta. Your mama would spank you for doing that, no? She does, but that's my way. I like the polenta with the cheese. Mm. Thank you, Luca. Thank you, sir. Oh, Luca, I'm cheering for you. Mm. Slightly overcooked. However, there's a nice flavor there. It's okay, it's only slightly sure. overcooked. Yes or no? Say yes. For me, Say I think yes. that the liver is medium. I like it a little bit more medium rare. That's okay. But the dish is good. It reminds me of home. Aww. I like it. And I'd like to see what else you can cook. Okay. I say yes. Yay! Thank you, Sinjo. Mr. Luca, Joe. I think you have an amazing personality. Your energy is contagious. Oh my God, you're so gonna say However, no, Graham. the dish itself is overcooked for me. So for me, it's a no. When they start complimenting your personality, so it it's a Gordon. fucking no, man. This is tough. You can cook. You're passionate. Restaurant manager from New York has a personality that's been a winner with the judges. I, I look good, eh? Yes. Yes. <laughs> but so far, his dish has been a split decision. I say yes. For me, it's a no. Now, his master chef. Oh yeah, what if Gordon took it seriously and was like, Gordon "You don't know Ramsey. who I am." No. <laughs> this is tough. You can cook, but I know you can do better. That's not perfect. You know that. I can do much better. I want to keep on going to show you what I can really do. Okay. For me, it's a no. <gasps> I'm actually shocked. Continue cooking, because next year, I think you can come back and just completely rise above the competition. That dish there is what I'm going to judge you on this year. 
and it's not good enough for now. So I'm a no. But I want to see you back next year. Grazie, Luca. Arrivederci. I feel bad. The mom flew here. Maybe they'll run after him? I hope. I feel uh, very sad. It was sad a great too. opportunity. I missed it. I go back home to my wife. I will come back 100%. While it may take Luca another year to get an apron, these next few contestants wow. don't have as long of a wait. I'm going to give you a shot. You got an apron. Woo! Oh, Ooh, yeah. smell nice. <laughs> 100%. Wait, their yes. kid looks so cute. You are not going to regret this. Yes! <laughs> oh, gee. Oh, my God, Graham. Next I like that guy's is movement. Is 24-year-old Brazilian artist, Haiza. That's so me. Who has a sweet tooth that she hopes will impress the judges. Welcome. Hi. First name is? My name is Haiza. What are you cooking? Chocolate custard with a raspberry center and cashew nut crust. OK. Um, You've got five minutes to blow us away. Yeah. yeah. We haven't seen many desserts win an apron. I thought it would be a good thing to show different skills, because my dessert has a little bit of pastry thing, because I'm doing something with sugar. I cooked something. I made a coolie. So you should start making show. it. OK. <laughs> OK, so a little change of plans, OK? I had to bring a rolling pin, and I forgot, so... Run back and get your rolling pin. OK. Quick. <laughs> Quick! <laughs> Can you open the door, please? <laughs> wait, 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 no. He told me to get a rolling pin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Go. Okay. I like as she comes down there like, aw. Like the improvisation. Yeah. I'm from Brazil. We are not used to have all these fancy utensils and everything all the time, so. What is, what is that? This it's... is the dessert. Like here? Yes, brava. <laughs> Wow. Hi, sir. Visually, you can tell you're an artist because you put food on a plate beautifully. She spun sugar? Wow. Yum. Oh, no. Okay, Joel. um... For me, one of the most delicious, well-presented desserts I've oh, ever tasted. It's a definite yes. Damn! You. That's a Two high compliment. Yes. Wow! I love the spirit. I love the dessert. So awesome, hot. man. Congratulations. Thank you. Well done. Well done, well done. Awesome. Great job. Great dessert. Well done. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye. Delicious. She's so fun. be a chef but I never went to school and I never worked in a kitchen before so this validates me as a chef it is definitely a dream come true with nine aprons already given out today will this next posse of cowboys have the same luck <laughs> <You are! laughs> <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. Uh, you're definitely here good evening gentlemen hello Howdy. First name is? Bear. Bear. <laughs> El Bronco? Ow. Ow. What are you cooking? What I have, what I call the uh, turnout, yuca, chorizo, chipotle, tomatillos, uh, avocado, sunny side up bacon, some cheese. Wow. Pan roasted loin of elk. I'm cooking in tomatadas, a uh, classical dish from my hometown. You just Mexican. listed every ingredient in it. Authentic Mexican, spicy. I mean, it doesn't look a million dollars. But it certainly tastes proper. Did you intend to melt the cheese? 
Yes, I did. It doesn't look very <laughs> melted. I've never um, had anything quite like that. Thank you, sir. It's like a bird. <laughs> it's just like a mouthful Is that a good mouth. or bad? <laughs> I never had this <laughs> coil. What a great way to interpret that. Oh, it's in his hat. As Jose manages Aww, to lasso an apron, the way her our final little cowboy, feet Mike, feet. has a more personal mission while <laughs> here at MasterChef. I'm doing this for my sister that was killed six months ago. Sorry. She was killed in a car wreck, and for me to take this home, give that to the family after this tragedy would mean the world. I'm on a mission to win this thing in her name. Oh my God. I went from However, Mike's plan to get celebrating the to that. Is a master chef first. Okay, I, my mind went full JCS. <laughs> you are kidding. <laughs> you are kidding. <gasps> I'm praying that he's not cooking that thing. Howdy, gentlemen. Don't how do how does he stop the horse from pooping? Don't hungry? they just like shit? Thank you. It just and their shits are like an huge and Thank smelly. You. It's an honor. First name is Mike Hill. What are you uh, cooking out the saddlebags? A pan-seared venison, creamed potatoes, and Jerico Verde. We've got five minutes. Good luck. Well, let's hope it doesn't poop you then. Cook? <laughs> I'm self-taught. I've never the had a cooking pee -pee. lesson in my life. I cook for my friends. The they seem to love sub. my cooking, Welcome. so I hope that you will too. Oh, um. <laughs> Thought that was another leg. Oh my god, he's stepping in it, honey. No. Behave, Mickey. <laughs> I totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> okay. Is that finished? Yes, it is. Sauce? What we put on there? Portobello and shiitake mushroom with a bourbon reduction. Well, technically, it peed instead of poo poo. You called it. But no, like, it's really common for them to just fucking go. <laughs> I think I've seen horses. Because, you know, Canada. RCMP. Like, museum. I'm great. Is that horse yes, thirsty? You easily could put that same dish, plated a little differently, and it's like a classic European-based dish. And I think that you're going to have what it takes. So I'm mean, yes. Thank you, Chef. Joe. Sure. Um... I'm just skeptical on the ability to really go far. But I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say yes. Wow. You seem like a nice guy. I'd like to see what you can do. Thank you. You are a hundred percent. Thank you yes. was so three yeses. Thank you, Chef. So thank deep. you, Chef. What about Nikki? Where's your horse? This apron means everything to me. I lost my sister six months ago to a tragic car accident. I'm doing this in her name. She's everywhere that I go. This is for her. I love you, Trey. While Mike rides off with his apron, our next home cooks have some tricks of their own to win the judges over. Bewitch the judges with desire. Joe, one of your ex-girlfriends? He looks like casting for The Godfather. What is that? It's a monkey. I'm cooking Aww. asparagus on a bed of linguine. We made an angel hair pasta. What would you do for a living? I'm a witch. Hi. Didn't we see her? I watched a sh... I hair watched... What would you do for a living? It I'm a witch. She is she the same girl from that one YouTube video we watched with the supernatural thing? Do you remember her? There was a girl that I was watching that was with the R F I L. I have to know. Yeah, T F I L, and she was in there. Patty, Patty, is this girl named Patty? Hi. <laughs> These are the guys. Air, fire, water, earth, goddess. Now your magic birth. I myself. Me too. <laughs> oh my gosh, she even back sounds back and laughs yeah, like cool. her. He no, I think it's her. <laughs> I'm a yes. Wow, to the monkey. <laughs> no. Oh boy. No! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. The 
Bloody Pee Pee, thanks for gifting five subs. Thank you. That's her. That's well, Patty. I'm not even not kidding. It's actually Patty. Uh, like, I'm like also positive. To each other. We're still fighting over the sink, but we each get our own counter space. This is the biggest moment of my life. Oh my God. She's nervous. She I, knows what I, she's I, up wow. against. Wow. He should be nervous. Uh, oh my God. Who's a better cook? I'm a better cook. Right. No. <laughs> lots of support, lots of love. I love my wife, okay. but I will take her down. What a crossover. Let's go. Anyways, Gentlemen, focus. You've got five minutes to start making? cooking. What are you oh. making? I'm making uh, New England Dirty Lobster, which is a sautéed lobster. Nice. Who'd you cook for at home? My wife, who is going to be following me. And she's competing. She's up next. Hello. Good to see you. Today I will be presenting for you white clam pizza. OK, Grace, no pressure. No pressure. So who's the best cook? I think I'm the best cook. Is he better than you? You know, this is the test, guys. This competition will have a lot to do with the titles. What if they dirty lobster. both dirty, don't dirty pass? Dirty, dirty lobster. Um, in front, please. Thank you. Yep. Happy with that? Happy with that. Time up, Danny. Got to serve, please. It's a 35-minute pizza dough. Uh-huh. The pizza dough, I mean, considering you had to cook in an electric oven, it is what it is. Why? Dirty lobster from Boston. I, use I don't like it when Joe throws the, the food. Like, I like him up sauce. until he starts being fucking weird champ, man. You cook in a very casual manner, but the actual lobster is delicious. There's no rules when it comes to pizza. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Right. Yes or no? You kept it simple. There's nothing on that plate that doesn't need to be there. I'm a yes. Mm. Thank you. Joe, yes or no? I think it's quite excellent. That's a yes. Oh. Thank you. Big yes. Your wife has a very, very tough act to follow. Congratulations. Wow. Good job. Thank you very much. Uh oh. What happens if, like, you're in a head to head in a pressure test and you're forced to really maybe have a showdown with your husband? We understand. Please. I've come here to win. Great. Yes or no? No, I see this as healthy competition. For the first time ever, a husband and wife if put their she relationship wins, at risk. It feels and like he's head winning. Head and if he wins, it feels like she's no. winning. Because they're married. They're like to together. Good job. Now, Anna's Fine. white clam pizza awaits a verdict. I've come here to win. Graham. Yes or no? You know, like, I don't... I can't believe it. We, we got to bring it. Baby. We're bringing it. We're bringing it. Competing in a competition together the, is so cute. I'm the next master chef. <laughs> Delicious. My money's on her. From the desert to the sea and all parts in between. The bloody pee pee thing trick gets in five subs. Thank you. Damn. Food truck. I would have never imagined a person named the bloody pee pee being so generous. Fit for an apron. I could go. squirrel pie. I do not know Gordon Ram. And some of the small town home cooks we discovered. Oh my god are here right now to see if they have what it takes. Welcome. Hi. First name is? Holly. Renee. Dwayne. Hi, I'm Laura. Nick. Nick, good to see you, bud. What are you cooking? This is Smoked salmon, salmon steak wrap, Choco and a pizza It's a chocolate cardamom, cardamom tart. Thank you. Squirrel pie. What? Squirrel, Squirrel pie. 
I am excited. Well, I've got porcupine balls. Oh, it smells porcupine. funny. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, yes or no? Conceptual, categorical, catastrophic <laughs> failure. No. <laughs> There is some flavor there, some technique. It's a lot of heart on the plate, but unfortunately, it is not MasterChef. The next time you see the MasterChef food truck, just wave and let it go by. So our food truck contenders didn't do as they hoped. But can Bubba turn things around? My competition is going to look I at me. I love and that name. We got to worry about that Bubba. I'm bringing the MasterChef blues to you. That's literally the song I always hear. I love the tune. On the. All right, first name is? Bubba. What the fuck Bubba. are they called yes. again? What are you cooking? Uh, venison wrap, bacon wrap, venison tenderloin with. Harmonica, rain, thank Rutabagas you. And wow, my brain. Sauteed mustard greens with green onion tops. Brilliant. You got five minutes to blow us away. Bubba Sparks. Great. When was the last time you trimmed that beard? A couple years. This is Luminosity X Choco Bars, bro. Names, no, he named it two months. Welcome back, thank you. Names, no. So is this something you would uh, go out and hunt yourself? Oh, yes. Yeah. It's the first time I've ever bought deer meat, put it that way. Oh. Good job. Thank you, Graham. My question for you is when they ask you to bake a souffle or make some agnolotti, what are you going to do then? Well, uh, I believe that I can uh, put forth my best effort and, and everything that you throw at me and, and win this thing. Joe, yes or no? Um, I think that venison is totally overcooked, under-seasoned. I'm just worried you don't have what it takes to really go further in this competition, and, a, and an apron would be wasted in this case, so I'm not. Wow. Graham, yes or no? The rutabaga was delicious. The greens are great. I like the fact that uh, you know where your food comes from. And I see something there. I say yes. That leads it to me. Um... Butter, 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 butter. Amazing. This apron means more than life. It means progression. It means just That's everything. So wow. wow. He's popular. I like a fat kid wants cake. The judges are served up laughter. Just a little melt. Oh my god. And <laughs> tears. Joelle. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I understand. Oh. I just got fucking spoiled. Good job. There you are. Thank you. With 14 aprons. Joshua, so thank you for the prime. The Welcome. In the kitchen is intense. I made this fun. <laughs> I didn't. Sometimes I don't realize I'm I getting spoiled I, until you know, it says food is my, on the note. And, the, and then I, I see the one, hour, <gasps> one dish that changed my life. Wow, I don't even and know what I just said. But you know what I mean. It's going to be a witness right now. Can Craig from Santa Monica keep the momentum going? That's a nice set of eggplants, no? <laughs> I want that apron like a fat kid wants cake. Woo! That check for $250,000. Hello, fellows. How you doing today? Hey, welcome. First name is? My first name's Craig. What are you making for us today, Craig? I made an eggplant rollatini with a truffle scented ricotta and some linguine. Get to it, you got four minutes. You are not afraid of cheese. You no, are no, not no. Afraid. I'm kind of a cheesy guy. <laughs> yeah, bada boom. Is that it? No, 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 not, not quite. <laughs> what are you doing now? Is that on fire? <laughs> are you gonna spot weld it? No, no. Just a little melt. No. <laughs> oh my god. 
Stop, stop. In the name of all that's good and holy in Italian food, stop. Whew. I feel like that's what they kind of do, though, in, like, Sendongdan. Didn't even melt. Probably because I told him to stop, I don't know. Right. Yeah, it's barely melted. Right, thanks. Oh no, man! <laughs> I would eat it. Oh, I want to taste it. The eggplant was crispy. The ricotta was rich and creamy. The seasoning was right. The pasta was actually Ooh, al dente. It al was all really dente. actually quite good. I'm going to say yes. Wow. Check marks everywhere. You know, you've got a big heart and you're a fun guy, but I'm struggling to see the finesse. It's a no for me. What? Graham? The eggplant by itself the way it's cooked and rolled and stuffed. And, I mean, it really is, it's really nice. But the pasta underneath and, you know, the, the tomato, all the things, I just don't, I don't think it's all needed. So. I'm going to say no, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Thank you. So Craig's dish was off target with the judges. Let's go! Let's go! But these next few home cooks bring out their big guns. Is that Sylvester okay, Stallone? they are Uso so Uso making Uso. him look oh. tough. They're like, all right, Let's do this. What look are you cooking? tough Veal right chop now. Caruso stuff with foie gras. For like, who? look at this guy. Foie gras. Foie gras. Tunisian couscous. Pork cutlet wrapped in an egg. Call the police. How's the competition out there? There is not much of a competition that I saw. Those guys, guys what's your... And the love of food like, came from where? Ellie Face, this is mine. Charles. Charles. What's your apron say? Usano beef. That means salt and like. pepper. And underneath it says, I can Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to hear some passion, Charles. Is this your proud of? I could, I could have done better. Uh, how'd you rate this out of 10? I'd say an eight. Unfortunately, I don't get it on the plate. For me, it's a no. Good heart, but I'm a no. For me, it's a no. Thank you. So the tough guys strike <laughs> out. Next at the plate, a 28-year-old from Long Island. Good to see you. First name is? My name's Frank. Frank, what do you do? I'm a stockbroker. Stockbroker? Yes. You've got five minutes. OK, Get thank cooking. you. Sell it to us. What's the dish? This is a home-cured guanciale and parsnip ravioli in a brown butter sauce with Romanesco. He sounds that? like That's he works Odio Santo or red pepper in oil. stocks. This is a little basil oil. And his name is Time's Frank. Up, like... It's always about like the balance of the filling and the <laughs> thickness of the pasta. Does that look right? Yeah. yeah. Good. Hope the texture's there. What do you mean? Really? You don't know what I mean? It's okay if you know what I mean. It's just a stereotype. I don't know. Am I gonna get a smile? Just... Ah, no smile? <laughs> I'm gonna like, come on, Frank. I can't do the Great. New York Thank accent. You. The dish looks great. I didn't think it tasted as good as it looked. I thought the pasta was a little bit too greasy for me. I, I'll be honest, I didn't taste one. So I, I, I don't know. Don't be honest. Now that you're saying all the facts Never on this dish, honest. I understand where you're coming from. I think that it had a lot to do with the pressure that I was under. Frank, so that... stop, stop. Oh, no. Yeah. You didn't even taste your food. Do me a favor, taste it, and you tell us then. I mean, you've made something for three judges, and you refuse to taste it. I mean, that's ludicrous. Right. You guys, give me another shot. I'm going to show you what I'm made of. You haven't told us what you think of the dish. I That's think, what I'm asking you. I think you're 110 percent right. It's 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 loaded with fat. For me, it's a no. It's swimming in fat. I agree. I see that point, but I think to come in and to really show that passion. I mean, we've had so many people that say, "Oh, I love cooking. I'm really passionate," and I absolutely see it with you. I'm a, a, a big yes. 
Thank you. Wow. I think that you're smarter and probably a better cook than what I ate in the plate. Joe, I'm here to learn from you guys, but I'm here to show you what I can do. I'm here to show you what I got, Joe. He's going to say yes. Wow. All right, come around. Wait. Come up here. Oh. Don't make me look like Bro. a chump in front of this guy. Joe, I thank you so Imagine. much. Imagine. Thank you so much. In order to win this competition, it's going to take a certain amount of hard work, emotions, sacrifice, but I'm ready to take it on. This is more than <laughs> Tommy Boy, Tim the 37 months. Welcome back. Thank you. Coming up. First name is? Joel is the first name. The final home cook of the day has a mission like no other. I've been shot at. Trucks blew up. And I am still here. <laughs> this has to be the reason. As another long day of auditions comes Dude, to a Graham close. Is Graham crying? Joel, a 37-year-old soldier, originally from Jamaica, is the last cook to get his marching orders. I started cooking when I was 12 years old. One day, my mom wasn't feeling well, so she took me to the kitchen and she taught me through preparing everything for the day. And I've been in the kitchen ever since. I'm America's next master chef. Hello. Hi, right, Chef, how are you doing? Good to see you. First name is? Joel is the first name. Joel, what are you cooking? What I have here is a Jamaican favorite. It's a rice and peas with a chicken and uh, some vegetables that I'm going to prepare here. You've got five minutes. Today, I brought Jamaica to you, just in case you have never gone there. What's the sauce? Sweet pepper sauce uh, topped off with a little scotch bonnet. It's just a tat, it's not overwhelming. Mm. Finish. Finish. How did you cook this? I uh, seasoned it, put some uh, wine in the pan, and then I cover it and allow it to cook through. Do you use the uh, salt that ever? For the rice and peas, I think I did. Oh. First, I just want to thank you oh, for you your doing? service. Roger. Thanks. I appreciate it. All right. I really do love the rice and peas. I think they're they're really hearty, you know? Like, you can just sit down and eat a big bowl of that by itself. Good job. He added salt. Maybe too much salt. The time I've spent in the Caribbean, right. it's drums and thighs. I they don't have breasts that big down there. Right. The women today are a little different. <laughs> Woman, chicken. Oh, breasts. I thought we were talking about breasts. <laughs> chicken. Right. Normally, done with the thigh or the drum. Right. So it's a dish that is traditional. You. You've uh, turned it posh. Roger. <laughs> Interesting. Joel, what's the dream? Where are you going with this? What? My dream is uh, to own a restaurant. I want to name it Jermaine's. <sighs> the name of my son. <sighs> Your son? Five years ago, he drowned while I was uh, on my way from military school. <laughs> So the dream is to continue the legacy? Yes, sir. I've been shot at. Trucks blew up. And I am still here. I just don't know why. So this has to be the reason. No. <laughs> OK. Joe, yes or no? I like the uh, rice and beans. It's uh, comforting. It kind of would remind me of the food that I might eat if I go to your house. The rest of the dish is a little bit under seasoned. Very, very, very simple. Salt. So it's just not at the level. I'm sorry. It's a no. I understand. I'm Graham. The thing on that plate that really stands out is the uh, rice and peas, which I think are, are really hearty and delicious on their own. You know, you, you put the chicken on there, it's got nice color, and the sauce that you made from scratch, all kind of focusing on where you're from. I'd like to see more of that, so I'm going to be a yes. Yay. 
Joel. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. <sighs> You're not going back to Miami. You're staying. Yay! It's delicious. Pick up this apron. Get up here. Put this on. Well done. <laughs> well done. Congratulations. Good man. I think I've just made my family proud, but more importantly, my son, I'm sure, Whatever is happens. looking and smiling and saying, go, uh, Daddy. Uh, I hope whatever happens, he did create Next his week, restaurant. No, spoilers. Oh, fudge. This is Luminosity X Choco Bar. Unforsaken, they were the 85 months. Welcome back to Tito Army. When you're happy, I'm happy. Thank you. I'm going to play some ads and go pee. Bear back. Oh, that one's going to be loud. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Preview. Oh, there we go. I fixed it. Okay, bear back. Going to go pee. Also, why is like, why is it like this? What if I do this? No. Oh, well, we'll just watch this one like this then. Let me see. Was the other one? This one. Whatever. Let's just watch this one like this for now. Or I'm gonna go pee and then we'll watch. Or it's not bad. <laughs> okay, we're right back. This is Luminosity X Choco Bars, bro.
Hello? Oh no, sorry, I made some tea, that's why. <laughs> okay, what kind of tea? I just made some jasmine tea. Hold on, it's still really freaking loud. Okay. There we go. Oh. Previously on Master Chef. Thanks. Thanks, Keoni. Okay, okay, I have to fix the volume now. We've never had a blind. Okay. And contestants. Why is it so loud? That's delicious. Do you know what I'm going to give you? A white apron. A white apron. Congratulations. Is this too loud? I can't tell. Did I swear Master Chef's going to break my eardrums? Continues. Good. Winning Master Chef to me is a step in the right direction to achieving all my right, dream let's of do becoming this. a chef in a this real is kitchen. Top 30 this now? is all I have. My ultimate dream is to have a restaurant. I'm going to put my heart on that plate. I'm going to win the judges over. It's going to show America I have what it takes to be next Master Chef. It's the third and final day of the Master Chef auditions. And for the few oh, it's still auditions. who still have to present their dishes. I think this is the last audition episode. On the line. This is absolutely the biggest moment of my life. I got one hour to make the biggest dish I've ever cooked. If there's anybody who's up for the challenge, it's me. First in before the judges, hoping to taste success, is 29-year-old Stacy from Apple Valley, California. Ah! That's me, Master Chef, season three. They always had a saying growing up in the high desert that you were either stuck up, f***ed up, or knocked up. And I fell under that f***ed up category, unfortunately. I would drink what? at least a liter of vodka daily. But food was my outlet. Cooking absolutely saved my life. Oh, so she's not an alcoholic My anymore. sobriety means more to me than anything now because I'm not afraid to right? do anything. Is that what this she's what trying to say? To do, and I'm going to win. Each home cook is okay, given good. just five minutes to plate up their dish. If two of the three judges think they have what it takes, they'll win a coveted Master Chef apron and move on I like to how the next Graham stage is of standing. the competition. Hello. Hello, I'm Stacy. What are you cooking, Stacy? An espresso coriander crusted New York steak with a chimichurri sauce. You got five minutes. Her to voice blow it away. sounds Where are you permanently from? strained. Apple Valley, California. There's some My people area like that. It's a little bit limited on culinary culture. Just but under for me, it's to hard out. to I'm listen to because right. I feel it's like. So where did the inspiration for cooking come from? The strain in it, like Honestly, I feel it. I really dove in head first after getting myself sober. Is that chimichurri sauce? I missed it. I love that you took the time to roast the pepitos. Absolutely. It looks like chimichurri. Looks good. You got a lot going on on that plate. It's just charred vegetables and a steak. I'm hungry to learn. I plan on getting better and better no matter what happens. You know, the vegetables stand out, yet that's not the hero. The hero for me should be the New York Strip. For me, it's a no. Graham. I get your point, I know what you're saying, but the grilling and the, the caramelization of the cauliflower, there's focus. Those things scream out to me. I'm gonna be a yes. Yay! Check. I can do this. Give me this opportunity. I will not let you down. Give me that shot, Joe, please. I can't reward ambition, so no. 
Thank you, Stacey. I hope she still stays on the right path. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Oh, wait. Try it again. I think the, the fat's rendered on this. The pepitas are toasted. It's grilled right. Things are cooked through. He's going to go after her. <gasps> oh, the gasp. For the first time ever, I retasted it. I'm changing my mind. Oh. Wow! <laughs> Allowed me another chance. Oh, oh, you put that on. I am America's next master chef. Yeah! So I can see why her voice got a sounds second like bite it's at success. <laughs> can Rami, a car dealer oh. from Dallas, sell his dish to the Master Chef judges? I'm one of the top salesmen in the country. There's nothing I do that I don't succeed at. <laughs> I like to think I have the X factor. Wait, this is getting X-rated. <laughs> I'll be honest, I got great personality, I got charisma. I think I'm an excellent cook. I'm pretty sure I'm getting that in. I'm ready to go, let's do it. How's it going? How are you? I'm doing well. First name is? Rami. You got five minutes. All righty, what are you making, Rami? I'm making scallops Florentine over a roasted red pepper and sweet potato puree. Where are you from? I'm from Dallas, Texas. So are you like Mr. Popular in Dallas? Well, I met around town with a lot of ladies, if you want me to be honest. Ladies band. Are the scallops coming good? I think that you guys would be impressed. How much do you pay for that dish in the restaurant? For that, I'd pay $25. Wow. <laughs> $25. You got to taste it before you judge. I'll go try it. Good luck. Wow. I mean, I like the idea behind it. I understand some of those Southwest it's flavors. In, yeah. Scallops, it might be a little overboard. You think this will get you an apron? Yes, sir. <laughs> Have you Me with my no, food. No, absolutely not. Get the vegetables off. Well, there's better. Oh, so you sell second-hand cars and you give me a second-hand dish? No, no, not at all. Not at all. <sighs> Joe, yes or no? I'd say Mr. Car Salesman, I like the pitch, but I don't want to get sold a lemon, so no. Graham, yes or no? I think that there's a lot of passion, so I'll, I'm going to be yes. You started off by selling us that dish at $25. It was my mistake. Rami. Get real. Oh, he's going to say yes. So far, Rami, a Dallas car salesman, has received mixed I reviews for his scallops Florentine. I don't want to get sold a lemon. No. I'm going to be yes. Now, his master chef fate lies in the hands of Gordon Ramsay. He started off you think he's by gonna selling say that no? dish at $25. It was my mistake. Rami. You got an apron. Uh. Let's go. Good job. Still up <laughs> I am well, pretty good at this. I think it, I just, I, there's like a, so it's kind of predictable. It's kind of predictable. I am the next master chef. With this final day of auditions coming to a close. Yeah, the, the lead up. There's like little things to face the judges. I got one dish to change my life. They all know there are still more master chef aprons up for grabs. What are you cooking? I am making a seared skirt steak, a surf and turf. A hand roasted chicken. I'm doing a grilled veal chop. I really like the tribe oil. You know, it's not bad. It's not brilliant. It seems kind of like a knockoff restaurant plate. Oh. The cookery on this and the technique, good job on that. A little overcooked for me. Um, you've got some high notes. 
also got some bum notes on there. Joe, uh, yes or no? Uh, no. Graham? No. For me, it's a no. Sorry. Sorry. I'm going to stick my neck out. I'm a yes. I'm a no. It's just not at the level. I'm sorry. It's a no. As good as your rice is, no. You nailed that, so I'm going to be a yes. For me, it's a no. <sighs> so the judges' mixed opinions stop the flow of aprons. Can Jordan's chop finally make the Alex cut? Alex, good. I'm sorry. You know, it's a no from me. I'm unconvinced of the, oh. the dish. I think that there's some things in you that we can tweak and make better, and I'm a yes. Thank you. It's down to you, Joe. I have a lot more skill than a lot of them out there. See, I'm a sucker for a veal chop. Oh. Oh. I think it's a no. <gasps> I can't believe you picked it up. And I got debated. I was like, oh, I oh, oh. I did good enough to get an apron. Completely surprised. Absolutely. With Jordan out he, of the competition, he had me there. He had only me there. one home cook remains. Maybe he needed to touch it to think about it. You know. 32-year-old David Martinez. We look like twins. How are you? Awesome! Awesome! First name? David. Five minutes, buddy. So, uh, what are so you energetic. It's called pescado con chile atole. What's the food dream? I absolutely want to be a chef, but when you come from an area where I come from, which is the south side of Chicago in Brighton Park, being Mexican and from the ghetto and going to jail, getting shot, is what you're supposed to do. And I didn't want to do that. I decided I'm going to use every minute of every day to make sure that I do something better. Is that ready? Absolutely ready. So here you have un chile atole con pescado. I've seen chayote. I haven't seen it braised like this. Pescado. So it's almost like you're using a, a different technique. Absolutely. Where did that come from? I just, I taught myself, you know. Honestly, I don't have the money to take my wife to the places that we'd like to go. Aww. Everybody should be able to eat food like this. Aww. This means a lot to you. <laughs> People say leaves don't grow in the ghetto, man. Well, guess what? I'm a even I grew in the ghetto and everybody else can do it too, man. Absolutely. Thanks, David. Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right, pull it together, dude. You got a contest to win here. Good morning, Rishi. Yes. He had me at like everyone should be able to eat. Like, okay. Bowls a little bit awkward because everything's slopping around in there. You need a plate to get that out. Joe, yes or no? I think that what you put in that dish is, um, it's rich and soulful. I'm a big yes. Yay! Thank you, thank you so much. Uno Graham? mas, uno mas. I think that you've made our hometown proud. I'm a yes. Awesome. Yay! Awesome. That's the start of what's to come. I'm a yes. Congratulations. Awesome. Come and get it. Oh my god, dude. It's an XX double XL. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whoa, whoa, no whoa. Problem. What do you oh mean XX double XL? Oh, slow down. Oh, my you little rhinoceros. Phantom Agony 9, thank you for the prime. Welcome. Whatever, as long as he takes it well, then I have no right to be like, what face, you know? So David is the final home cook to win an apron. He now joins all the other contenders trying to move on in the competition. I've never had a moment like this in my life. It's the best moment ever. This is the first step to me. It looks like it's done, but it's not. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, I'm a stage is it mom. over? I'm an opera singer. I'm a graduate student. I'm a stockbroker. I am a food runner. I'm a carpenter. I'm an account executive. I'm a radio DJ. I'm a student. It is definitely a dream come true. This apron means more than life. It means just everything. The most exciting thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah! 
I'm the guy. I'm gonna win this thing. I'm gonna. I guess that's all the 30 people, huh? Oh my god. Right now, it's all about determination and will. My motivation is a little two-year-old boy. It's gonna be a street fight, and I'm ready. Still to come. Your 60 minutes starts now. All right. Awarded aprons. But All now right, they must show their way into the Master Chef kitchen where the ultimate battle Stop awaits. Stop spoiling me. Congratulations, you are the top 36. Well done. Each of you have got a 1 in 36 chance at a quarter of a million dollars. 1 in 36. Oh, 36 contestants. And most importantly, Wait, wait, whoa, the wait, Chef wait. Trophy. Oh, wait, wait, okay, okay. Listen, I heard she gets a helper, challenge, Christine. We're taking at least half of those aprons back. Damn. I'm getting a half. little bit nervous, but I'm still pretty confident that my apron's gonna stay on me. This apron's on the line today, and I don't plan on letting it go anywhere because I know that aprons don't grow on trees. Are you all ready? Yeah! Follow us. Let's go. Gordon's told us to follow him into the room, and, and my mind is just spinning like a roller coaster with no brakes. Nobody knows how good anybody is, so naturally I'm going, you know, compete and I'm going to win. <laughs> wow, that light. I see <laughs> rolls of workstations, and I'm thinking, oh my god, this is the real deal. This is super intense, walking in and seeing these amazing sides of beef. I'm thinking, awesome, I got this. I love beef. It's your wow. very first MasterChef challenge. I wouldn't know what kind of meat that was. I'd be like, so, cool, meat. The big question is, what exactly will you be cooking? Take a look behind you. There's no way vegans watch this. <laughs> or like maybe some chill vegans, but like I've had bad experiences with vegans. I hear the beeping around online, me online and I can tell everyone's <laughs> ooing and awing and and I'm thinking I have no idea what's They're what's mean. going on. I'm just trying to take in the sounds and stuff. All of a sudden there's this big crazy looking robot machine. I'm thinking, oh my god. This is insane. It's okay, okay. The beef you'll be cooking today is yeah. ground beef. Ground beef is incredibly I got attacked versatile. when and I did a Wendy's deal every country's cuisine. with Uber Eats. If we see 36 bland Packed, burgers, I tell you. we're going to scream and you're going to go home. Packed by all the vegans Use on Twitter. Imagination. I'll now, never forget it, honestly. It was like really scary. you need to make that protein sing. You name it, you've got it. So, put your brains in gear and go and collect your ground beef. Wow. So we're walking up this big giant machine and we had this big bowl and they had these big levers and it I looks pull this sludge down and all I kept thinking was like Pink Floyd the wall. Come on, gentlemen. It's this kind of gross. Perfect. How oh my god! Like, oh, a ton. like just psh, gone. Can't be me. So the heat is on. The possibilities are limitless. I hated that. Oh my god. But your god. time is not. Oh god. You've all got just 60 minutes. Looks like Play-Doh to me. <laughs> of ground beef and turn. You know when you put Play-Doh through the like little hole thingies and it looks like hair. You know what I mean? 60 minutes. We'll be like watching the... you. Sampling I your love seasonings that, that one. and tasting your sauces. So addicting to look at. Make sure at. the ground beef is the hero of that dish. Good luck, all of you. Your 60 minutes starts from now. So the judges yelled go, and I am running for my life. So they may see stock and broth. This competition can be won or lost in this first five minutes. This is where you set the ground rules down, right? Yeah. The minute they saw the ground beef, they should have had in their head what they're going to do. Instantly. The game is being played in the pantry. Right now. Sorry, 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 sorry. 
I'm gonna use my height, my athleticism. I'm gonna run through the pantry, grab everything I need. Uh, hopefully nobody gets in my way because I hate to step on any of the shorter competitors. Oh my God. That's just the way it rolls. Aw, she does have a helper. Okay, good. I hope we get a lot of variety. What would you make? Do you know, I'd do something Pan-Asian. Um, a delicious, savory, spiced meatball. I'd do a Salisbury steak. Yeah, I thought they, they were going to cut vegetables. A bunch of roasted uh, mushrooms to help bind it. They did that for really two seasons. The the like onions or apples. Technique and strategy. Get creative. Focus. Uh, I'm already behind. Wouldn't you know it? I'm making a beef roll with a romesco sauce and potatoes du cheese. I absolutely have to put out the best that I have in me right now because there are some amazing cooks here. I haven't paid attention to anybody around me. It sounds like everybody's doing something creative and fun, and uh, hopefully mine will be better than all theirs. Uh, did I set the olive oil somewhere right here? Cindy. This is Cindy. She's my uh, guide and my aide. She's pretty much my eyes. I just tell her which ingredients to get, and then that's what she gets for me. She doesn't cut for me. She doesn't taste my food or anything like that. I'm trying to make a uh, Thai basil beef dish. It's like a good comfort food dish. It's tasty, and it's Wow. Simple. They got the leaves from an actual plant, like the basil leaves? From the basil, okay, AJ, like the plant. Like the... With, uh, wow. Broccoli rob. Miniature Hi, Liddy. And use the sausage to make the sauce. What's your wife cooking? She yeah, it's tell so me. fresh. She wouldn't tell you? She wouldn't tell me. Anna, what are you doing? Tarragon beef stuffed onion. What are you doing, like a poppyard, a roll, a ball? How are you doing? I blanched the onion in the beef stock and white wine, and then Flavor. I stuffed it with tarragon, orange zest, a little orange mm -hmm. for the acidity. Good. Have you told your husband what you're doing? No. Wow. He says it's all at war. Has he told you what he's doing? I'm not even thinking about it right now. I don't know what he's doing. He's on his own. Okay. Uh, good luck. Thank you. Hey, David. Gentlemen, how are you? Good, David. What are you help making? you, I'm going to make a faux marrow. I've cored out a potato, and then I'm going to use that as a vessel for the meat. Who here is scaring you? Josh is a pretty strong competitor. Oh. I think Tally's a pretty strong competitor. You're keeping your apron, you're going to give it back to us. No, I How does he know? I'm keeping my apron. Let's go. How does he know they're like good competitors, though? Five minutes Scary to go. CJ, thank you for the six months. Please thank you so much for supporting the stream. You're doing. Happy, happier. Think of those techniques. Think of those flavorings. Because we are, remember, we're taking at least half of those aprons back. Five minutes to go. In the first challenge the of the season, 33 36 months. home Welcome cooks back. have Thank just you. minutes Thank left to so create much. an exceptional dish using ground beef. Please taste everything you're doing. If they fail to impress the judges, they Okay, will but that ground beef do apron. be looking pretty bomb. I am not giving this apron enough for no reasons. They're going to have to fight me for it and take me and put me back in the swamp. I'm not worried at all. I think everything is going just as I wanted to. And I'm just keep on pushing. Well, Melanie's doing a, like a Salisbury, Salisbury steak. steak, but she, uh, I think she must have ground the meat again, or she really worked it with her hands. It looks very, very mushy. Michael Chan, he's doing a really nice fragrant broth. If you so can pull get this broth out. in this short of a time, it's certainly technique there, like a consomme. Fine, like a consomme. What I've seen is some pretty accomplished cook. A lot of seasoning, good knife skills, mm -hmm. good techniques. I've seen the cooking happening in an intelligent way. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to be eating some tasty dishes. One minute to go. Dude, the sizzle. Plating Ooh, your dishes. she has like the dim sum like container thingies. Finishing touches. I don't know Make what they're called. Count. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Hands in the air. Well done. <laughs> Based on what they tasted and observed throughout the challenge, the judges have already made some big decisions. Kim. And will now divide the remaining 36 home cooks into three groups. Oh. I'm totally confused. There's like two groups up front, but there's still a bunch of us left in the back. Oh. And I don't know if that means that we're gonna get to go through. Maybe we're not safe at all. 
the last hour, we've watched and we've tasted. Some of you have Back impressed us so much bits, that we're already very confident that you belong in the MasterChef kitchen. But for others, we've seen enough to know you're way out of your depth in this competition. The good news is one of these groups of 12 has already made it straight to the MasterChef kitchen. I'm looking at their group, and I'm looking at my group, and I'm freaking out because I've come so far, and I just can't let my dream be over. This can't be it for me. I'm not worried. Well, I'm a little worried. I yeah, like I'm, her. I'm of course I'm worried. This group here are all going Straight to the MasterChef kitchen. Wow. Oh. This is my dream coming true. Happy dance. Happy dance. Woo! Congratulations. Woo! I am so thrilled. It feels amazing to be going into the MasterChef kitchen. So does one group not make it? Because I'm going to have such a big ego. Well done. That guy looks like he's wearing pajama pants. This I well, dig it. <laughs> unfortunately, not good enough. Please take your aprons off. You're all going home. Oh. I am disappointed. But the restaurant remains will be open. Yeah. And I will definitely send an invite out yeah. to Gordon Ramsay. With 12 home cooks through and 12 sent home, Damn. all that is left is for the final group to discover their fate. OK, you guys, we just weren't sure about you, which is why we are going to take a closer look at your dishes. Oh. Bring your dishes Fuck. down to the front. Oh, they're gonna taste I get it. As part of this I last know, group, and honestly, it must mean that my dishes. Extra Luna, so the five dollar dono. This sucks. Thank you. Yeah, this is everyone's favorite Can season. The following four people step forward together: David Mack, Anna, AJ, Tanya. I'm standing before the judges. Palms are sweaty, knees weak. There's no way I'm letting them set me home tonight. First dish, please, David Mack. Oh, they're gonna taste. What's it called? All a dishes. reconstructed Italian beef taco. Damn, that was up in his it's nose. Delicious. It's not a bad idea. Thank you. Mom spaghetti. <laughs> I think with the time you had on your hands, you could have done something a little bit more exciting. Anna. I'll suck my dick, bitch. Light speed. Thank you for the beef prime. Stuffed Thank onion you. With golden raisins and toasted walnuts and a horseradish creme. It's interesting. Nice flavor. It does work. But I want more color. I see. The inside has to look as delicious oh, as the so outside. I understand. Thank you. UFO pig, thank you for the prime. Thank you. Hey, Tom oh, Strox so boy. Give it three months. Welcome this back. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. With broccoli rod this is Luminosity X Choco Bars, bro. There's a nice little spice. I think adding that sausage was a good idea. I think you did a good job. Thank you. Did you taste your wife's dish? I did not. Nervous? I am. That Should looks be. really good. It's a nice idea, but it's kind of bland. Yes, yeah, the cheese point, would look bomb. I'm thinking we're both going home. Oh no! Next up, Tanya. My interpretation of a Persian kebab that I paired with a red onion pickle salad, fried oh, egg that looks roasted good. garlic yogurt dressing. Can you step outside, Persian? Most definitely. It's bold. It's very, uh, very you. Can you step out that comfort zone? The judges will now decide if any of these home cooks are good enough to make the Master Chef kitchen. Okay.
David and Tanya. Step forward, please. OK, you two. Your journey is about to continue, because you're both wow. going to the next Good job. I thought they okay, were going home. Mr. and Mrs. Rossi, two things are clear to me. Mm. That you both love each other and that you both She love did whip food. her hair a lot, like really hard. I will invite you to say goodbye to each other right now because there is a separation about to happen. <gasps> no matter what happens, knowing I'm going to be saying goodbye to my wife is very emotional. Aww, they're cute. They're cute. Home alone is none of you. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Rossi, there is a separation about to happen because only one of you is coming to the Master Chef Kitchen. The person going home alone is. None of you. None of you. AJ. <gasps> Anna, you're going through to the kitchen. Aww. Congratulations. <laughs> Eskimo Alex, thank you for the two months. Welcome back. It's bittersweet. Thank you. I'm going home and my wife is staying behind. I am determined to kick some butt in this competition for the both of us and win that trophy. That is my goal. Christine, Baba, Monty, Nandini, step Baba. forward, please. The first dish that we're going to taste is Christine's. Thank you. Straight down, easy. Down Find here? It. Yes, ma'am. Right here? OK. Thank you. I made a, a fucking Thai lover. beef served with rice. It looks great. The flavors are really complex. I get the heat, the sweet. And it's really delicious. The the problem is, the beef, it's almost dry. Did you season the rice? No, sir, I didn't. I figured that the beef uh, and the basil would have enough flavor. You were right. Oh, you, okay, good. I'm going to walk you back. Okay. Oh! Bubba, please like, step moments forward. like these, I like Joe. And then he throws food, and I'm like, what is wrong with you? I it up, decided to cook the cornbread on top. Cornbread's actually quite nice. It actually tastes better than the savory ground beef underneath. Flavorful, but pretty simple. Mm -mm, Bubba Sparks. Thanks, Bubba. Next, Nandini. I made ground beef with fresh spinach, cilantro, and mint with Israeli couscous, peanuts, and potatoes. <laughs> Everything's cooked properly, but it doesn't scream out and explode with flavor. It's mm. almost one-dimensional. You've actually got quite a nice depth of flavor in there. It's nice. But it's very rare you serve the couscous and potato, because it starts as either one or the other. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, Monty. I am absolutely beyond belief nervous. I just don't want them to vomit. What is it? Oh my god. It's a beef roll. I have currants in there. I have cumin, paprika, goat cheese, and then I wrapped it up in a pastry dough. The beef is delicious. Thank you. It's brave. Very brave. Love the technique. Less cheese, more flavor on that beef. Oh. It's a pretty good answer response i want to back in line monty thank you back in line it's just too simple you know it's kind of like i think monty lacks a little bit of confidence yeah but i mean monty please take like one her step a lot forward. it's like i'm rooting for her I'm sure your to son like misses you i'm sure he's super proud of you no matter what happens, 
promise me that you're going to continue your journey with food. Yes, sir. She just needs a little bit more validation to, like, well, yeah, build promise, herself up. I'll promise you a spot in the master. Yay! Kitchen. Well done. Going through to the Master Chef kitchen feels like I've been given the biggest gift in the world. This is my one opportunity to make my life work out for the betterment of my son, and I am not going to throw it away. I have too many Mama favorites and too. Nandini. Season three is really good. There's a lot of people you guys I like. Prepared dishes that showed the three of us that getting into the Master Chef. I'm Chef's sorry, kitchen but keep Bubba. <laughs> I is like sadly Bubba's just a little name. beyond you. No, Papa. Thank you. I just got booted. Papa, no. I, I just got booted. Thank you. They can turn me loose now and let me go back to my swamp. <laughs> I just got booted. Christine. Yes, Chef. Were you happy with the dish you put forward? I think the beef could have been cooked less. You feel you still belong in the MasterChef kitchen? Yes. Yes, chef, I do. I just want the chance. Yes, yes, Christine. yes, yes, yes. She has a With beauty mark on her already upper lip the like stage me. Of the competition. Christine's future is in the hands of the Master Chef judges. Christine. Yes, Chef. You feel you still belong in the Master Chef kitchen? Yes, Chef, I do. I just want the chance. Christine. You're going to the Master Chef kitchen. feel really relieved that I made it past the first challenge and I want to make it to the top. I want to show everyone that, hey, there's this disadvantage I may have, but there's really no excuse that you can't be the best that, that you can be. All four of you, step forward. Courtney, first up, let's go. My god, isn't their food this cold is by now? It is uh, spaghetti bolognese. Oh, spaghetti bolognese. Brave move. I've Tempting never said bolognese spaghetti bolognese, bolognese like that before. Spaghetti bolognese. The pasta's done nice, but the actual bolognese, the sauce, it, it's very sweet. Rami, let's go, please. I just call it a grape leaf patty. The side of cucumber yogurt and some pickled vegetables. Vegetables pickled beefly. Yet you look at the beef and it's slightly gray and sort of gone off color. They have to disregard the temp. Okay, that's good then. It's bold. I just feel like some food tastes think better that hot. Food, it's a little bit stretched. So the coldness Thanks, is please. like, Thank you. you know, the makes the food taste I worse. I wanted you know? to make a faux bone marrow, the meat and potatoes with uh, roasted vegetables. You ever hear your mom say, hurry, eat your food before Smart it gets idea. cold? The bone marrow, nice and savory. Vegetables undercooked. Because it's going to taste worse. Root vegetables they aside, the good thing is that the beef and potato like works that. really well. It's tasty. Thanks. OK, Shireen. This is roasted eggplant oh. and it's stuffed with garlic mash and ground beef with a tomato butter sauce. Did you taste it? I did. I did taste it. Did you taste the raw eggplant? <gasps> My favorite thing on that plate is the tomato sauce. Potato really doesn't add anything to the dish. Oh no, she is not going through. Okay, Courtney, please step forward. You're an opera singer. That dish. Spaghetti bolognese. You will not be returning to the competition. Damn. I'm not exactly sure what just happened. To be that close, it's a little bit rough. I do believe the judges made a big mistake. Shuri, step forward, please. But the way he said his dish. Do you think today's dish warrants you a position in the MasterChef kitchen? I believe the dish shows my potential. You do. Unfortunately, we don't. 
please take your apron off and leave Master Chef. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Good luck, guys. I really like her voice. It's so sweet. Both of you, step forward, please. You have such a pleasant voice. We've seen a ton of potential in both of you, but only one of you is going through to the MasterChef kitchen. Remy, you think you're a better cook than David? I wouldn't be here if I didn't think I was. David, you think you're a better cook than Remy? Yeah, I do think I'm a better cook than Remy. Hmm. David. You have to say that. Also, not going to give it to you. You are not. Going home. Going back to ah, Southside ah, Chicago. Ah, You're joining ah, them. Ah, 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 shit. It feels awesome to be part of the top 18. <laughs> I'm just ready to cook and I'm ready to show what I got. Remy, please take your apron off. I'm sorry. You're leaving MasterChef. Thank you. It's disappointing that my journey in the MasterChef kitchen is shorter than I anticipated. I honestly felt that it was my apron. But I'm here being judged by people who are better than me. So I'm not going to question that. Congratulations, Final 18. Well done. <laughs> Amazing. Why not show it on full screen? Where would my webcam oh, go? Because, like, we're watching oh, it my for my reaction. Top 18 competed against thousands. Down 18, and I'm in it to win it. After tasting, literally, thousands and thousands of dishes from all across America, we are here. One of you is the next master chef. The competition is on. Tomorrow night on MasterChef. Pause. Don't spoil it for me. All right, I'm going to play as and I'm going to watch more because we're addicted. How many people did season two start with? I thought it was 30. One more, maybe, or two more. Who knows? A little addicted. A little addicted. Let's see, let's see. I'm gonna refill my this is tea real quick. Oh, X Choco bars, bro. It me Asia. Thank the 46 months. True salmon. Thank you so much for gifting five subs. Thank you. If you are gifted a sub from True Salmon, please thank them. Thank you. Yeah, I play ads in between, but it's better than playing ads during it. You know what I mean? You know what I'm trying to say. All right, bear back. Getting more tea. Charlie Man Chad for the win. We're back. Oh, perfect timing. I just came back as well. Okay. 
You guys are back from Mads and I'm back from my tea. I'll suck my dick, bitch. Bill Mila, thank you for the prime. Thank you. Welcome. Let's do this. Boom, 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 boom. Oh yeah, look at that high quality. Eliminated and only 18 remain in the search for America's next master chef. Now it's time for these top home cooks to take Praxy, their place. Thank you for the, in the 10 master months. Welcome chef back. Kitchen. Dude, I love the wine cellar. So cool. Walking to the MasterChef kitchen for the first time is incredible. It's such a beautiful kitchen. Uh, it's the kitchen that I've always dreamed of. MasterChef kitchen even has its own bar and restaurant. Man, this is crazy. It's freaking awesome. I have never seen so many glorious bottles of wine. The workstations are so spacious and they're beautiful. They're glistening. They're just calling us to come cook. Oh, I did and miss 20 gifted. Kane, thank like you for gifting 20 cook subs. Cook Holy shit. To own. Sorry, it's just thank you. A dream. Oh my god, us. just to fans came. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I did almost miss it. I didn't hear it. Equipment and you throw it all when I was getting tea. You cover it in gold and then dip it in chocolate and then I put hope it you're on still pedestal. here. Thank That's you. You have arrived. This kitchen is your culinary theater of dreams. Because for one of you, this is where oh, you're going to so lose the label bitch. of a home cook. Keone, thanks for giving us up to Kate. Like, thank you. One of you will be crowned America's next master chef. Now, there's only one way to find out who that is. Please make your way to your stations. You will not. I like how find like a more state of the art kitchen anywhere. Oh, I said like 50 times kind of cringe. I like each of you how each season I can nine, see it catching up Global. with like it's modern time to day finding out which of you home cooks fashion really have the potential to earn the title of America's next master chef. The best way to do that is with your very first mystery box challenge. Each of yeah, you modern day quality to prepare, too. Cook and present one awesome dish using only the ingredients hidden under those boxes. The person with the best dish today will have a huge advantage in the next stage of this competition. Cook every dish like your life depends on it. On the count of three, you lift those boxes. Mystery box challenge, it's exactly like when I open up the fridge and there's a couple of this, a couple I of that. I want to compete. Which happens to me every single night. But not in One, cooking. Two, <laughs> three, lift. Wow. I'm trying to figure out, like, what is, what is that? I have no idea what to do with it. I see this beautiful duck breast. My heart lifts because I know how it tastes. I've worked with it before. You've all got mm. the most amazing duck breast. Kale, rhubarb, dark rum, sweet potato, five spice, fresh bananas, and some maple syrup. Prove to us that you truly belong here in this kitchen. People, when they lift that mystery box, they can see exactly what's underneath there. Oh. I have to listen to what the judges say when they list the ingredients and try to commit that to my memory. Your 60 minutes starts from now. Good luck. Very, very exciting challenge. Absolutely. So many possibilities. I think at this point, with so many contestants, it's really about strategy, right? Yep. I think the banana is the devil so in I the guess box. The helper. It's really the only thing that you couldn't put with the duck breast. I need I'll to tell you what I want to keep, okay? okay? So, Christine has an aid, but uh, under no circumstances can her aid interfere with the dish. I want to keep the kale. I want to keep the sweet potato. I want to keep the duck. I think she's at a bit of a disadvantage to learn how to work together. With the 18 now, this is your first chance to really scare and intimidate scare. people, too, exactly. and be like, this is what I'm all about. 
What would you do? Her face. He came back 28 during the 10 months. Welcome back. Thank you. Sweat that off and dump that. Bake the sweet potato and do a really nice caramelized rhubarb with aged balsamic vinegar. Sauce. I am gonna pan sear duck breast with a sweet potato puree and sauteed kale. I like Michael. And, uh, duck fat. But the fact that there's no elimination on the end of this does help me feel a little more relaxed. Take and Monty. Advantage of your 60 minutes. And One Christine. Stunning dish. At first, I saw that duck breast and it was stunning, and I was really excited. But then I started thinking that I have a great dish. For Not that much backstory on, on this girl. So I'm thinking right now. I just do what I know. I, I don't even know. think I remember her tryout. Tartlets, kind of like a crostata. I'm confident because there's a few people who I think might be a little wet behind the ears who might be trying to put too much on their plate. Scott, what are you cooking? A profiterole. What? A l larger profiterole with yams and a little bit of duck in there. This is like a serious competition. I'm being very serious about this. Duck profiterole. This guy has the same eyes as Joe. Or similar, not the right, same. Samantha, what are you doing? A uh, five-spice pan-seared duck breast of a sweet potato rhubarb puree. Sweet potato rhubarb, they go together? I think so. Have tasted it before? Okay, no, Samantha's gorgeous. Like individually, so. I, but don't like, we all? I am all. Come on, get creative. Cold pan, cold, cold pan. pan. Felix, what's going on? Are you going to try to pan roast this and get the fat rendered? Yeah. It works better when the pan's on. You might run out of time. That's good. Interesting. Yeah, definitely. Very interesting indeed. Becky, I mean, she's going for desserts. Mm -hmm. The rhubarb tart. So look, we're working on both hands at the same Damn. time. I love the way she's, she's walking mixing. Tarts. Absolutely. I'm really concerned about Samantha. Would you put sweet potato with rhubarb? Oh, that sounds disgusting. <laughs> oh, no. So Felix says she's going to bring her, you know, restaurant experience. Yeah. But her duck, I put my whole hand in the pan. It's not even on. It could be good if done right. Yeah. So Scott, I don't know what zone he's going into. He's doing a profiterole with sweet potato and duck breast. Profiteroles are a dessert, and they remain a dessert, and they shouldn't be tampered with. Absolutely. Oh. Now, you should be working on your finesse and making sure finesse. everything you put on the plate has a reason. Oh, that looks really raw, no? OK, five minutes left, guys. Five minutes. Right, Tali, how are you feeling? Fire. Fire. Oh, God. You got a fire. Stand back. Just stand back. So does... I got it. I got it. I like how Gordon always, like, gets in there to, like, put it out. Fire. You got a fire. Stand back. Just stand back. So like, he never I asks got it. I got it. anyone else. He just, like, goes in. Oh, God. I yell fire, and uh, Chef Ramsay comes over so uh, valiantly. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, <laughs> like a knight in shining armor. <laughs> Everything's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Brilliant. Very okay. brave. Thank you. Okay. You set the place on fire. <laughs> what? No, it's not funny. You're right. You're right. Trust me. You've got your neck in a noose. He Be careful. is not amused. It's crazy. I think that's just the lack of experience and you're seeing a lot of people who didn't know what to do or trying to do a little bit of everything. Yeah. Here we go. 60 seconds to go. Finish your touches of those plates. Clean those plates. I remember usually. when I lived Ten, with nine, Celine. Eight, we lived in an apartment seven, complex. Six, five, and um four, three, two. It was one, Thanksgiving and, and the Woo! fire alarm was going off nonstop. After observing and tasting throughout the challenge, the non judges now stop. take one final look I remember to identify like so, three standout And it was so dishes. loud. We've now chosen three dishes that stood out, really stood out. The first person I would like to invite down is... You know that you want to call my name. Please, please call my name. Ryan, let's go. I'm really not surprised that my plate is one of the top dishes. These other cooks are gonna have to step up their game if they're gonna wanna compete with me. The next okay, person you like to invite down is... I wanna make it louder. Samantha. Am I going deaf? Let's go, Samantha. That was Why one do of I need people it that louder. decided to do something truly new. I think a lot of people are 
going to be jealous of me. The third person. Please come down. Scott. Let's go. My mind is just racing. I, I, I know that I wasn't 100% proud of this dish. It was not executed properly. Congratulations. I mean, oh, your three dishes stood out. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. <laughs> you managed to cook what we think are the worst three dishes of this mystery box challenge. Oh, my God, Ryan. Listen carefully. This season, we've rewritten this dude the rule books. So none of you should sad. ever get too comfortable in this kitchen. Because we That's could embarrassing. ask you to leave at any time, starting now. What? We're all gobsmacked. I just can't believe it. It's crazy to me. And I'm just like, what the heck is going to happen now? OK, we'll taste all three dishes. Whoever we decide has plated the absolute worst dish will be handing back their apron. Ryan, bring your dish up the station, please. Let's go. I made a balsamic rum glazed duck breast with some caramelized bananas. Can you hear my cat? You proud of this? It's rendered to the point of being dry. Yeah, you may have some crisp on the skin, but bananas? I mean, it's like, is this a joke? It looks like you plated it and then stepped on it. Sadly, the cook on the banana is better than the cook on the duck. Bananas right. with duck. You've gone bananas. That's what's happened. You've gone bananas. <laughs> the hero of the dish, in my mind, should have been the duck. You have managed to cook the duck. Everything else around that is dreadful. <laughs> Samantha, good dish, please. Thank you. What is it? Um, it's pan-seared duck breast of a, a sweet potato rhubarb puree, so with a eggplant napoleon. You know that that's not cooked, right? I do, sir. And we put it on a plate. Raw duck and like the leaning. She is so going lions. home. Raw on the main this like dish. This is not what we're looking for. It's like the main ingredient almost, right? No, this is bad really, on so many but... levels, it's kind of hard to explain. Scott, let's go. Um, what is that? It's a, a profiterole with uh, a mashed up oh. sweet potato and a slice of the duck. Two whole duck breasts equates to three miniature slices of duck. Where's the rest of it? I honestly got scared. It's embarrassing, Scott. Well, at least after the raw duck, we have a duck that has actually seen the frying pan. You thought it would impress us that you could put a slice of duck breast in a profiterole? A little over-creative. Over-creative. Delusional. She's purring so much. I'm scared. If they call my name and they send me home, I'm going to be the first person out of the 18. I'm distracted. Gone. Yeah. It would be devastating. Maybe. Scott, one step forward, please. Yes, Chef. We're disappointed. Lucky. Oh, his is bottom lip enough. is quivering. Jimbo slice 42 thing for two months. Oh, he made it. Ryan, Samantha, one of you has just cooked the last dish in this competition. My dish looks 10 times better than his dish. How Girl, is yours is raw. Oh, no, what do you might mean? Have been uglier in presentation. It was still edible. The person yeah. in the competition that cooked the worst dish. No, Samantha, I just bye. To say I'm not, definitely not ready to go home yet. Ooh, and you were Ryan, right. The no, 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 this no, dish no, was no, the no. duck. And out of the two of us, I'd say that the duck was better executed by me. I and don't that, care. Um, and you guys can't eat raw duck. No begging. You're in this competition, competing, not judging. Let's get that right. Have some respect for your fellow contestants. The person leaving the competition that cooked the worst dish. I wouldn't be surprised if he actually went home after that, challenge. man. 
belongs to. The judges have already singled out the two worst dishes. Out of the two of us, I'd say that the duck was better executed by me. No begging. And now, for the first time, someone will be stripped of their apron and sent home from a mystery box challenge. The person leaving the competition that cooked the worst dish belongs to... Samantha. Please take your apron off and wrong. place it on your station. You're leaving the competition. You're watching Master I'm definitely Chef. sad to leave the Master Chef no. kitchen this early. I didn't think my dish was the star of the challenge, but I didn't think it was the loser of the challenge. The loser. It was definitely a learning process. It is giving me more zeal for, for my passion, and uh, it's not going to stop me. I don't mean to be a hater, but. Man, come on. Ryan, for him to throw Samantha under the bus like that was a bitch move. Preach, Ryan, David. Back on your station. You can never I like David feel already. safe here. And I think that that's exactly what they were trying to tell us. So you better be bringing your A game every single day. Winning every challenge, every pressure test results to so many advantages in this competition. And today, the glory does belong to somebody because their dish stood out above their competition. That dish belongs to... Felix, congratulations. Oh. Great job. Bring your dish down, please, honey. It's a huge validation. This is definitely one of the proudest moments Aww. that I've had in my life. Come and stand over here. I'm trying to just be humble and, like, you know, keep my composure, but I don't think that Felix deserved to win. Oh. It sucks. <laughs> I'm so bummed. Great job. Really good job indeed. I did a Chinese five spice seared duck breast. And that looks and great. And I did a sauce for it and eggplant and sweet potato chips. Phenomenal execution. Nice. Chips, you had me at the chips. sauce. And well, she's just standing on the, on the stage. Really she works. can do we that. We recognize it immediately as being restaurant quality and the flavor is fantastic. Thank you so much. Felix is now a front runner. Okay. Competition is on. So, Felix. For winning today's Mystery Box Challenge, you're coming with us to find out your huge advantage in the next challenge. Let's go. Well done. As the winner of the Mystery Box Challenge, Felix is now the first home wow. cook to enter I love the MasterChef Pantry. Never met a girl named Felix. Here, Felix is in control of the first but elimination she rocks test. It. Each elimination test will see at least one person leave okay, the competition. Okay, excuse me, excuse me, a guy though. I I'm said a girl named Felix. The most okay, a girl. Fresh produce. It was the most beautiful pantry I had ever seen in my life. Felix now gets to choose the style of food or the dish that everyone must cook. However, the one thing she cannot control is the theme of the Did challenge. Did I stutter? That is in the hands of the judges. Today, you'll be cooking one of our three most intimidating dishes. I'm down. Even though I was practically raised on it, it's a dish that uh, intimidates me because it's so difficult to execute. And it's a dish that takes me back to my grandmother's kitchen and my mother's kitchen. It is Italian risotto. And mm. risotto refers not only to rice, but the technique involved in making it. Because as opposed to steaming it or boiling it, we saute it. There is one dish that always gives me the chills because you can't hide behind adding different little touches and ingredients and garnishes. Classic New England clam chowder. Five I ingredients. Love Potatoes, clam chowder. cream, onion, pork, clams. All of those things at the end of the day, they sound easy and that's what makes it a hard dish. Yum. To me, Do you like the most chowder? intimidating dish the one I'm well known for. Asleep? It's like a work of art. You seriously have to follow every step religiously. Any idea? Your notorious beef wellington. It's exactly <gasps> that. It scares the hell out of me. It's so intimidating. It takes years of practice. I, Felix, out of Joe, I want to eat it every time I and see my dish, it. What dish are you going to choose? I choose.
I think she's gonna choose the theme the of today's clam elimination chowder. test is our most intimidating dishes. Never mind. We gave Felix it's the choice of one of those three dishes that give us the most anxiety. The dish that Felix chose was a stunning risotto. I was wrong both times. Script off. Script off. My whole They're not listening to me. They're not listening to me. I feel a little nauseous because I've only made risotto once in my life. And Get it was back not on track. <laughs> Risotto's not intimidating to me because I've made it before and I'm comfortable doing it in a short period of time. Felix. Yes. For winning the mystery box challenge, you don't have to cook it. Yeah. Wow. You're safe. Go enjoy your safety up in our gallery. Ooh, they made that gallery look better. There's like nice couches to now. At least Wait, one maybe of there you was always a couch there. But they're the always standing. So make anyway. sure. It's not you. All of you have got 45 minutes to make a stunning risotto. Your 45 minutes starts from now. Off you go. Who am I cheering for? Well, the there's like the 30 people, Lounge. I think, right? Many I don't know how many people are left, but there's a lot. To make one so, stunning risotto dish. I like butter, Felix, I, I like Monty, Michael, Will be sent home. Christine, David. My eyes lit up. There was molecular powders, xanthan gum, tapioca milk. I'm missing extra, more. And sodium alginate. The white. Pretty much everything I forgot her you need name. To make awesome risotto. Risotto. It doesn't have to be fancy. You can't really use cayenne and a blast of this or a blast of that, you know, to really mask some of the subtle errors that you might be making. Some kind of shells, such either clams or scallops or mussels or shrimp. Everyone else can see what's in the pantry. I can only really cook with ingredients I know about. Innovation is going to be a big challenge for me. Wow, some half full baskets, some full baskets. If you were out there right now, what kind of risotto would you be doing? Something super simple, one ingredient. You have yeah, to season all the way through. You have to season the onions when they go in. You have to toast the rice, add the wine, burn the alcohol out, more salt, make sure your stock is seasoned. I mean, oh there's a God, lot of that water is boiling out. You cannot rush a risotto. Okay, Frank, how's your rice coming? So far, so good. What would your family think if you get sent home on a risotto? My dad would definitely break my balls. Dave Mack. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> flavor, what are you doing? Uh, I got some white wine, butter. I got the morels. I know those have a nice flavor to them. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Do you always look stressed? Kind of reminds me of Christine, good. but like... Uh, it feels really this nice. A little bit. What bro. everyone's cooking style Less is. It looks like uh, Talia's more never stable. Made uh, family, thank you for the two months. Mac Welcome back. This has never made Wait, they're both before, named Christine. As well as Scott. No, 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 He's not, not using a classic technique, and there's. Christine's blind. Sorry, I'm talking so about season two, Christine. I'm going to make a poblano risotto. You must for have not today. been there. I'm going to add a little scallop on top and uh, see where we go from there. Hello, Helene. What do you think? Um, I think it's actually done. The texture is telling me that it's really close. Did you taste that rice? Yes. It tastes cooked to you? Well, it's getting there. One, two. Yes, sir, chef. One, two, three, four pans going. What are you doing? I'm going to make risotto with green and yellow yeah, beans, bitch. white asparagus, mm -hmm. and Aww, sun Oh, anonymous, tomato. thanks for Don't the 11-11 11 lucky donation. I'm gonna Thank you. I'm going to out, and I'm going to go from there. Last 15 minutes. Here we go. So with 15 minutes left, we should certainly be adding the first consommés to our final risotto. The rice should be toasted, the onion should be wilted. You're starting to see the rice swell a little bit, gaining volume, yeah. working it, working it, working it. Who do you think is going to be uh, doing something delicious? I think that Frank will do a good risotto exactly. because I think yeah. he's eaten it before. Right. Dave Mack? He's got a pot like this where it's literally like just making us porridge. Right. I think Tali is kind of really out of, in, out of his comfort zone. His technique is all... He's put cranberries in there. I mean, there's certain things that never go in a bloody risotto. Yeah. Cranberry's one of them. He doesn't know when to stop. He doesn't know when to stop. I mean, I'm seriously concerned. He is in hot water. Five minutes. Cranberries in risotto. Yeah, that sounds weird. Wisely. In this risotto elimination challenge, many are struggling. Oh, my God. By the end of tonight, another one of these 17 home cooks will be leaving the Master Chef kitchen. Taste. Start so. thinking about the execution. Everything. 
60 seconds to go. Come on. Shake the plate. Let the risotto relax. Season. Butter in. Cheese in. You want rich lava. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Everybody. Well done. And the sad news tonight, somebody will be leaving the MasterChef kitchen. The judges will this taste each risotto the dish. Then bars, the three dishes will be singled out, and back. one of those Thank home you. cooks will leave the competition. Okay, let's start off. Back row, okay. Monty. I won't adjust I'm a little anymore. freaked out right now, but I'm not going home. I came here to cook, and I came here to win this. This is a risotto made with white wine Try to bite and me. stock. With she said stop. Pine nuts, sun-dried tomato, and sure. white asparagus. I love sun-dried tomatoes. It does not look like a risotto, does it? Uh, they don't look like <laughs> that ever. So there's the risotto down there. We've got to dig for this one. You know, I mean... The she doesn't want to make a risotto nice that looks like... Unfortunately, your garnish tastes better than the actual body of the risotto. I like Monty. Have you ever eaten risotto before? No. That's bizarre. Did I've never eaten risotto? How are you holding out? Doing all right. Monty has anxiety. The thing is, as whoever you're cooking it for is getting Okay, well, bite, I don't know. They should get a tiny little piece of asparagus, like I a little pancetta, feel all those it. things, not huge, long pieces that don't really fit on the fork From the screen. are just garnished on the top. Thank you, Monty. The judges, they expect us to be at a certain level, and I was far below that level. Frank, let's go, please. Everybody's looking at me to make the quintessential Can you trip Italian the show, dish. please? So, yeah, I'm feeling it's the pressure. really loud I'm for me. To bring it. What do you got for us? Does anyone Clam, need it, need it turned up as Manchetta, well? basil, toasted fennel seeds, and guajillo pepper. And you guys are going to be looking at me because I'm Italian, okay. so I wanted to Sorry, do Sorry, maybe different. you have to turn it up on your end. Well, it worked. Bravo. Thank Good you job. Much. Look at the texture in that. That's what I love in risotto, you know, being able to, to stir and find all the little goodies yes. hidden in there. And Frankie, you ain't playing around, dude. That's pretty good. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Frankie. I'm louder, but that's the point. Frank, the light bulb's on, right? That's it, baby. There we go. All right, David, please. You're watching this. I need like, to start making a name for myself in this kitchen. Or just else watch I'm it go yourself the then if you don't want to in hear me talk. In the veal stock risotto, I put portobellos <laughs> and some oyster mushrooms, gooseberry roasted poblano, and some scallops. Making risotto and using veal stock at the same time is a very dangerous game. You nailed it. Thank you. Really good job. I like David a lot. As soon as he said that about Ryan, I was like, good shit, David. This is one of the best things I've tasted in a long time. Oh, it's, oh my god. It's delicious. The poblano, the, the cook on the rice is perfect. The layering of flavors, well done. Oh my god. Hello. Elvin 2.0, wow. yeah. Um, what is that? That is saffron risotto topped with scallops that are crusted in a red peppercorn smoked sea salt wrapped in burdock root. So visually, when I've you never can had see burdock the center root. of that bright brain of rice, what does that mean? That is perhaps undercooked. Perhaps. It's not perhaps, it's definitely undercooked. Oh. The basket. What the f is that? Oh my god. A basket. <laughs> Oh, God, I could scream. Okay, I the like wall. the basket. I'm looking at that, and I'm looking at the MasterChef trophy. I'm thinking, nah. All right, guys. Do you guys understand the spirit of this competition? Oh, what no. What we're looking for here? Monka S. Scallop basket. Oh, no. Go in the garbage basket. 
We're not fooling around here. We're looking for specific things. It's not a game, and you're not here to waste our time. You understand? Yes. The rice is undercooked, and the scallops are a joke. Well, you guys understand the spirit of this competition? What we're looking for here? Scallop basket. Go in the garbage basket. The rice is undercooked, and the scallops are a joke. They really seemed offended by these creations that I made. But at least I went to the edge of my comfort zone. I tried something new. I didn't nail it. I screwed it up. Christine, let's go, please. I sauteed some uh, onions with scallops oh, and chicken stock that I had infused with smashed garlic that and chili peppers. That looks phenomenal. You were um, almost frazzled by this dish. You have an extraordinary palate, but I think that one is subpar. No! Next up, Ryan. We have a portobello dried shiitake wow. and morel mushrooms. I made a duke cell out of the so three of them flat. so I can incorporate the mushrooms in every bite. The consistency of the risotto itself was spot on. Good technique on the rice. Good job. Thank you very much. All right, Scott. So I started to do this. This elimination challenge is definitely a, a chance for me to redeem myself with the judges. It, it means everything to show them that I can not only just bounce back, but actually really shine. You think this has it? Is this going to be good? I went back to where I normally cook. I want as simple and core as I could to let the risotto speak for itself. Seven ingredients in this entire dish. Sometimes simple oh, is good. Big, the texture is nice. Thank you, chef. Huge Sorry, improvement over the last dish that we saw. Up. Thank you. A spirited effort, and uh, welcome back to the uh, conference. Oh, yay! Thank you, Jeff. So, the next risotto Where's we want to taste is dude? from Tali. Oh, this guy, Joe this guy. is definitely the scariest judge. He's the judge to win over. And if I can do that, then the Master Chef title is definitely mine. I made a pistachio, cranberry, cherry, and gooseberry wow, cherry. risotto. So many berries. What's this? What is this baby powder looking stuff here? That's hazelnut and walnuts mixed with some tapioca maltodextrin. I wanted to give it a little bit of um... You know what it is? It's garbage is what it is. What you did on that dish is inappropriate and ultimately kind of disgusting. Oh. Congratulations. Even eat the... The cranberries, the nuts, the gooseberries, already just unheard of in a risotto. That is a disaster. It does sound like a lot. Damn. Serve as your best. Anybody. Damn. Last but not least, Dave Mack. I'm looking at my dish. The plating, everything was fantastic. My dish came out exactly how I wanted, and I feel very confident. What we have here is uh, some moral mushrooms, some portobello mushrooms, use some veal stock, a uh, Sauvignon mm, Blanc. The bread. Did you wash the mushrooms? I didn't wash them out completely. If they're not rinsed super well, right. especially the morels, it's like a dirt this is sponge. Luminosa <gasps> it's, that choco it's, just party, bro. it's just really bad. Oh my god. Don't grab a Nick morale. Zang, think of the 42 months. Please oh. tell me what to avoid. I'm here to eat the dish, or should yeah. I eat selectively? Um. As you wish. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh! That's shady for me. Big mistake. I saw it come out. Guys, some basic stuff like feeding us sand and things like that, not good. I screwed up, but uh, I hope that they're able to see through that and still see my culinary greatness. We tasted some fantastic risottos, and sadly, some disastrous risottos. We now need to come up with a decision. The judges must now decide which home cooks are the bottom three. From these, one more person will be sent home tonight. Good job, Christine. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Monty, 
It just shows the inexperience. Really. Aline? Aline is a disaster. No, Aline was she's fine. Christine's fine. You're not the worst. And Tali, I mean, I don't know, yeah. I don't know what Tali is now up to. Dave? The sand, you know, big, big technical error. I didn't wash the mushrooms. And I think I started too late. Any freaking dish but risotto, man. Like, seriously. He's too good. Risotto right now. Tali, dude. I know. Ryan and Tali are the two people that I want to see go home. OK, They're not so much idiots. gossip, David. And if they don't David, stay on their toes, I'm going to be the one to take them out. It's my husband. It's my husband. I like it. Clearly, we have to take him out. He took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, oh my god. god. It's like a 2v2. Two two. Once one of them's gone, the other one's. Remember, you're the best. How do you feel? Good. All right, guys. Back to the stations, please. Thank you. There were two standout risottos. The first one belongs to. Frank, great job. Yay! However, there was one that stood out, head and shoulders, above its competition. That dish belongs to... David. David Martinez. <gasps> Let's go! Oh, is he from Hawaii? He, he did two this. Two captains in the next stage of this competition. But you know this elimination challenge... He's from Chicago. ...with a departure. There Whatever. Were three dishes oh, that stood out. Sir Nayu, thanks for giving All another for sub. Thank you so much. And at least Chicago's kind of far from Hawaii, but who knows? The last dish in this competition. The first dish. That's universal. That was oh, I didn't know that. I Black. when I went to Hawaii, a lot of people did this to me. That's and on the why. Of an embarrassment, I thought it was that a Hawaiian dish thing. To Dave Mack, come down here, please. Please stand over there. Thank you. This next dish had very bizarre flavors and techniques. Helene. The third of the worst dishes had a mix of ingredients that made no sense. Didn't even seem to know what a risotto was supposed to be. That's that dish Sally. belongs to. I'm just trying to not lose my grip on my countertop because I know I'm going to be in the bottom three. I know it. The third of the worst dishes had a mix of ingredients that made no sense, didn't even seem to know what a risotto was supposed to be. That dish. Belongs to Tally. Those three risottos were embarrassing. Who do we send home? I did what the challenge asked for, you know? So I, I Helen, feel sick. Helen, Celine, I don't know how to say her name. I screwed up. Her posture is so good. Cooked. I'm feeling, quite frankly, scared. My food tastes great. What do the judges want? Why didn't they see it on my plate? Dave Mack, one step forward, please. You can't turn out undercooked rice with every mouthful just full of grit. Dave, you are not safe. Stay there, please. Helene, your dish Helene. was really bad. We were bitterly disappointed. But it wasn't one of the worst two. Go back to your station. Back to your station, please. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Tali, you're not safe either. Your dish was confused, bizarre. It's almost like you're trying to outsmart your competition. You can bamboozle every amateur behind you. It looks you. like cheese. I can't believe but that's tapioca. But you cannot tapioca. bamboozle us three. Let me tell you. Sorry, chef. I just didn't. I, this is my first time cooking a risotto. Tali, stay there. Based. On that risotto, the person leaving is Dave Mack. Oh. Your time is done in this competition. Please put your apron on your station and leave the MasterChef kitchen. Thank you. Thank you, Chef.
Wow. I'm disappointed, but because at the same time, wash I'm glad I got to enough. compete at this level. The judges did make a mistake by sending me home. Uh, I have a lot of creativity. What do you mean? Thank you very much. What can you say? You know, hope for the best, plan for the worst. What do you mean they made a mistake? Tali. You have dodged that bullet. I'm telling you, you are flying by the seat of your pants. Back on your station. Thank you so much. Woo. That's the sigh of relief. I dodged the biggest bullet of my life, and I don't want to be in that position again. Next week on Well, 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 I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Chill, chill, chill. All right, now I know there's a fucking helicopter somewhere. Thanks a lot. God. Yeah, more. But I'm going to play ads in between. Everyone go get a snack, go pee, and then we watch. God, these spoilers, man. No shame. Is it my sleeve bars, that's bro. waking you up, baby? Sorry. Uh, Eno Lokai, then the three months. Welcome back. Thank you. I'm addicted. I'm not gonna lie. Season three so far is pretty addicting. I think the quality went up a lot. For sure. Like the quality of the video. Even though it is HD, like, I don't know, it feels more like, yeah. Already episode five, how? I know, we're just zooming through it. It's already 9 p.m. Quality for this one is bad. It's okay. Feels more, it's like getting more modern though-ish. Let's binge watch the whole season. Um. There's 20 seasons. I'm just going to play it by ear. You guys are crazy. Do a subathon and just watch Master Chef. I've never done a subathon before. I've never done one. How many more? One more minute on the ad. Oh, never mind. A minute and twenty. You would have to cap it, really. Poll for my favorite season. I've only watched two full seasons. Oh, you're asking for everyone's. Oh, right, right, right. Well, I don't know. Probably B3. What do I mean? How many seasons are in MasterChef? Eleven? Two people are saying 18 and two people are saying 11. Oh, more people saying 11. Chat, man, chat, the Whoa! Ooh. Supine Orb, thank you for gifting 10 subs to the community. Thank you. Wait, 11 and 18 are very different. Okay, I'm going to go with 11. I don't know where the 18 is coming from. Right? Because more people are saying 11 over 18. Thank you, Supine. Okay. How much longer? Almost done. Two, one, boom. Now, the back. remaining six. Teen home cooks are about to jump into the trenches. I need more pork on this girl right now. For a challenge on the scale like Holy no other. Holy fuck, that was truth. loud. And one more contestant's dream of becoming America's next Master Chef. Come on, come on. Will come to a bitter end. The person leaving Master Chef is. I'm sorry to say. Each video is really inconsistent. The remaining 16 home cooks are about to face their first Master Chef Still team out. challenge. What the hell's going on? Like, what's this Streamers all about? Tired. I'm just absolutely clueless at this point. Streamer Cold. tired of changing all the time. Streamer just wanna watch. 
hear the propeller noise, I feel the dust, the wind. I feel like I'm in the middle of a hurricane. It is the most intense feeling on the planet. My heart was beating so fast I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. The helicopters belong to U.S. Get Marines the who are on training maneuvers, and our remaining 16 contestants will be cooking for them in this extraordinary challenge. Aww. Choppers land, and out of the choppers come the three judges. Oh my God! The judges look really they silly, look especially silly. Joe in his suit. Yes, <laughs> oh hard hat on. Joe look this well looks the silliest. Sir. Ladies and gentlemen, you're at one of the largest Marine Corps facilities in the country. On behalf of the United States Marine Corps, good luck today in your challenge. I can read between the lines. At this point, I know we're going to be feeding a lot of a lot of military dudes. Troops, in two hours from now, all of you are going to be ambushed by 201 No, Marines. I missed episode one. Oh, yes. You missed episode one, Your two, three, and four. Is to send them back to training. And the finale stars. and semi-finale of season two. We have to cook for 201 two. Marines, okay? Who have been out in the field for who knows how many days. They're I've been be live for six hours, hungry. sir. And you won't be in a fancy kitchen. Take a look. Cadet. We are literally in the trenches. <laughs> Okay, here Attack. are the rules of engagement. Good. Each Marine will eat entree from the red team and an entree from the blue team. They'll indicate their favorites by lining up behind the team they think is the best. The losing team will face their very first MasterChef pressure test. Got it? Yes, yes sir. Good. Frank and David, you two had the best dishes in the last challenge, so both of you are team captains. Time to pick your teams. Come stand next to me, please. How early do you think they film this? Excellent. I think it's like Hands 8 a.m., 7.30 a.m. Because I want to destroy David, and I want him out of this competition. Before you tell me who it is, I need to know why. I'm looking for people that could stand on their station and, and uh, take control. So, Becky. Becky. Becky, take your apron, please, and come line up over there. Being a good leader is being able to pick people Why? that are better than you, cold. so you don't have to work You know how, hard. like, Becky's early in the morning it's and cold? She tends to take charge in the kitchen, so it's a very, very this strategic gives me morning move. vibes. Fine. Well, I think this person's already proved themselves in the kitchen. They don't really fold under pressure. Felix. Woo. Josh. Let's go, baby. Right. Scott. Scott. Wow. Yeah. Next person. It's my... Thank you, brother. Stacy. Stacy, wow. wow. I do not want to be on David Martinez's team. He has no idea how to talk to people, and I wouldn't want to have to take orders from a guy like that. I really respect the way that this person approaches what they do in the kitchen. I would like to pick Helene. The guy has a lot of knowledge. Um, he's got a lot of skill in the kitchen. Tali. Tali. Yeah. I'm happy to be on Frank's team. Honestly, I think, you know, he's a better leader than Dave. Okay. Yeah. Six left, three each. I'd like David to see Ryan got on enemies. Team wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Ryan doesn't want to be on wow. your team. Tanya. Tanya. Anna. No. David, you're picking for both teams, because whoever you don't pick, of course, will be in Frank's team. Um... It's gonna be between me and Christine. I really feel like people underestimate my ability in this competition. They underestimate so Christine I knew too. I was gonna be in the very bottom pick. I think uh, they'll be a really good team member, a really good addition to my team, and I'd like to invite Monty to join the red team. Christine. Yes, Chef. Did you expect to be last pick? You know, I have a disadvantage and there's limitations, so I, I, it wasn't a surprise to me at all. Being last pick, I want to prove that I'm more than capable. The last thing I want to do is get in the way of a victory. Frankie! Hey I'm actually happy to have Christine on my team. I know that Christine Aww. has the ability to be prepared for a challenge. Red team, blue okay, team, are you ready? Frank. Yes, sir! Your time starts now. 
In this team challenge, each team must prepare a meal for 201 I'm put my cats ingredients. In bed, like, the entree right, must right include here, at least right. one protein, one starch, and one vegetable, or they automatically will lose the vote to the other team. All right, so here's how we're gonna do it. My roots are Italian, and in four minutes, I gotta make a decision what I'm gonna make. It's probably gonna be what I know, and that's Italian food. Who doesn't love a pasta salad? I'm thinking of a summer chambolta, which is basically like a bunch of different summer vegetables, pasta. We'll throw some freaking uh, mozzarella in there. It would be beautiful. We'll spice the chicken with our spice girl over here. We'll get it on the grill. I think that we should make barbecue chicken, all American, down to earth. But I went with his decision because I trust him as a team captain. All right. Okay. Go blue. Go blue. Go blue. Go blue. While the blue team under Frank is going Italian, the red team have decided on an American classic. We're serving pork. Becky, I'm gonna need you to get on some barbecue sauce. The potatoes, we still need to figure out. I wanna give these guys nice and hearty food. It's a cold day out. I like the idea of the red team dish. I like a pork chop with a barbecue sauce, you know, smothered, heavy, good food. I just don't think they've given themselves enough time to cook it. By deciding to cook whole pork chops, they've forced themselves to be cooking into the serving period. Yes. High risk. Yeah. I think a chambota is a nice idea, pasta, yeah. but I don't think Marines know what chambota is, nor know. do they care. It's too food. <laughs> Nobody wants that right now. I think that versus barbecue sauce? Yeah, I'm there you go. No way. 55 minutes Yeah, gone. Felix is five head. But I think the way the she went about it was like get organized. nice. On the blue team's grill, Michael you know, she's is like, this is what I think, problems. but he's our leader, so. so. Uh, I'm grilling the onions and the mushrooms right now. Yeah, I didn't they see look the burnt. seasoned, oiled, anything. They just got thrown on the grill. I don't mean to throw Christine on the bus, but she propped up. These are going to turn black so, as tar. Uh, yeah, well, I'm you, just, so it's Christine's fault. I, I'm cooking the mushrooms without. Yeah, but if you, if like someone someone gives you something done wrong, at least as part of the team, you would tell well, somebody, I right? I wasn't aware that the mushrooms. Was, uh, you want to eat that on. crap? Michael Chen's having a hard time grilling. Michael, Michael, face, Michael, you can't be fear. doing You've got that. these veggies going over to the grill, but they're my unseasoned. Leftover food. You've got these dry onions that are just getting burned over here. He's not taking responsibility for it, but if that's the way you want to roll, that's it. Good luck, guys. All right. You don't season them, Mike? There's no seasoning on them at all. Oh, my God. With just 45 minutes before 201 hungry Marines invade to eat lunch, Michael is making a mess of the vegetables for the blue team's chicken and pasta dish. Your grill man is a little inexperienced and you're showing somebody, some weakness here. So I would really get someone strong. Like this is somebody that could maybe, you know, be better used to chop something. We're gonna switch this up. You're gonna start chopping this stuff up. Tally's gonna take over on the grill. Okay, Mike, just stand back here. Just under 10 minutes to go. While the blue team keeps their pace, the red team is fighting to overcome a lack of direction from team leader David. We need to get those potatoes on. Is that all the potatoes you've got? No, we got four more pots. No, but any more on the grill? Uh, we can get more on the grill right now, yeah. David, how are we gonna get 201 portions of potatoes roasted? We have to dump out half this water. Listen, the only way we're going to get this up to boil is if we have a little bit of water. David, at this point, has lost control of the team. He's not giving clear enough direction, so I start kind of telling people what to do. You guys, I need more pork on this grill, like, right now. Seriously, right now, right now. Come on! Just over five minutes to go. Here they come, guys. Blue team, red team, stand by. Here come the troops. The Marines come in from all directions, and we've got the number. We know, 201, but really seeing them there is a whole other story. I mean, it's Damn. chaos. With seconds before service they begins, come out going, go, Gordon go, spots go. a fatal error on the red team. <gasps> oh, oh, my God, the pork's roll. Oh, pork's no. Roll. David. Sir, David. Urgently. I cannot believe this. That is not come pork. Get it back on the grill. The soldiers are going to come through in a minute here, and so I need to get as many of these pieces cooked off as possible. I'm freaking out. The red team have mere moments left to try and salvage their undercooked pork, while the blue team appears to have everything oh under control. Oh my god, they're control. just sitting there watching. Oh, we're ready? Yep. Red team, blue team, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, oh, blue. 3, two, for blue. 1, let's go guys, Marines! It's an absolute honor to have the privilege of cook for you today. Come and eat. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Frank. I hope we have enough pasta, man. What? I really hope we have enough pasta. Mm -hmm. I, I, I swear to God, you do not serve raw pork to a Marine. Yes, sir. Double check that yes, they're sir. all cooked. These are Kansas City style grilled pork chops oh. with cheesy potatoes. potatoes. 
Who's Who's saying that? Frank, you're going to have to tell me if I'm dropping it over their tray. Make sure, okay? I put Christine up front to serve because I want to make sure that she's doing something productive. To the right, to the right. To the right. Yep. Thank you, sir. This is pasta with grilled summer vegetables and a grilled chicken breast. I'm going to help you with chicken, honey. Okay. On the right again. The pasta looks great. In the serving line, serving the chicken breast. I'm yeah, I don't like the way he awkward. said that he's to gonna reach out and give feel that for the tray and her. feel which side is empty, and that's where I leave it. But it is a little typical, and it's hard to execute that quickly. While he's blue like, I'm teams gonna Christine do is it running just low so on confidence, the red team is running low on food. I'm gonna need more pork. Thank you guys so much for your service. Do we have any more potatoes ready? They are not cooked. These are raw. More potatoes. We're out of potatoes. I'm really upset at this point. We're gonna run out of food. This is not good at all. Mm. All we have in our plate is coleslaw. Not okay. I'm sorry, guys. Oh my god, they're literally just serving it. The coleslaw. How are you doing, guys? Which one do you like better? Yeah, I like the red. Red? How about you? Blue side. Okay. Blue side. Love the chicken. Love it, love it, love it. The uh, only thing about the pasta is that I'm not really big on the vegetables. All right, so you're going to be a critic after you get out of the Marines? You hungry? Yes, sir. All right, man. I'm giving two scoops of pasta to each one of the Marines. I'm looking at the line. I'm seeing there's a lot of people, but I got a lot of pasta. So I want to make sure these guys are, you know, they're full. But uh -oh. little by little, this pot of pasta starts dwindling down. More pasta! At this point, I'm getting real worried. Who likes the red team's pork on this table? I like the pork. I like it. You like the pork chop. Why? It's a little more hearty? What's wrong? Let me see that. That's raw. Uh-oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna take Don't this back and I'm gonna sick. get you another tray with a cooked pork chop because this is unacceptable, serve okay? Raw right. pork. No, 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 chicken. No, no, no. It you can't got be raw. raw. This is raw. You're gonna kill somebody. Oh no no no. Yeah. No, 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 no. This is completely no, no, raw. No. no, no. We gotta fix this. I gotta get another one back. Stop. Hungry. Hey guys, red team, come here! Red team, come here, stop. That's what we're serving to the bloody Marines. I was so invested in serving these Marines two inch thick pork chops, and it's completely my fault that we're going down in flames right now. Get a grip and wake up. Uh oh. Both teams have been cooking frantically for over two hours, but with half the Marines left to serve and no meat ready, the red team needs to devise a way of fast-tracking their pork chops. Is this one cooked? If no, I go back there with another... No, 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 We need more chops, you guys! We're down to two chops! Mike, pound the chop out. Do something. The line is stopped. Cowboy Mike's back there with, like, two skillets banging the crap out of these pork chops to get them thinner so we can cook them on the grill. I just oh need to God. get these stupid things cooked all the way through so they're edible so they can serve them to the Marines. Let's start cooking them on this side, too, OK? Well, Please. that's a strat I never knew. Keep if you pound pounding. it thinner. Keep pounding. I apologize. Can you just get to cooking I'm some so stuff? so sorry. We can apologize. I'm pretty five heads. It's getting embarrassing. I mean, I've told David, man up, get organized. Yeah. Helene, please. How are you on pork? Do you need more pork? But look at Becky. Becky's now coordinating. Yeah, she's Becky's now over. running the red team. Right. So the girls have taken over the red Absolutely. team. Absolutely. So this is the story of unlikely heroes. You have Monty. More potatoes, please! You have Becky up front who stepped up to the plate. She's got a system going. Yeah. She's like who would have taking over and protecting her station. Wow. More pasta! I'm just trying to keep them fed, man. I'm trying. We should have had all four burners going at the whole entire time and had it done. I'm not sure why it came together at the last second, but we're doing the best we can. If we can't get pasta out to these troops, then there's no starch. We're not completing the mission. That's not good. I see the line. Maybe there's 20, 25 people left. We redress the pasta, we get it ready to go, and I'm just hoping that I make it. You guys are doing awesome, man. Thank you guys for saving me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Everyone voting red at this table, hands up. Sorry. My cat was hungry. I hope Don't I didn't miss shy. anything. Come on, I see a half hand I here. I fed her. All right, and blue? I got more soda. Wow, even oh, Steven, 4-4. Four, four. We'll see how it ends. Steven. Thanks, guys. As both teams get back on track, the last of the 201 Marines get served. Hi, guys. Thank you guys so much for your service. You're amazing. Who's your money on? Oh, I think that uh, red team's going to win it. I think at the end wow. of the day, it's based on the dish. I think the blue team has better flavors. I think it's a risk, their dish, but I'm going to count on these Marines, yeah. have a sophisticated palate. I'm yeah. going blue. Mm. Right now, for me, I'm undecided. Go either way. I need 
watch out, too! Now! There's like of two more. Of course, it goes line. either way. I feel kind of ashamed that we didn't do a better job, but we finished strong. Hi, how are you today? Spicy girl chicken for you. We're done, guys. Good job, brother. No, thank you so much, Frank. We are all super Spicy excited. Spicy grilled chicken We're sounds super bomb. Proud of each other. I'm proud of my team. I've never worked with people that work so coherently before. At this point, I think it can go either way. I'm hoping that the meal was substantial enough, but they left the decision up to the Marines, so I don't really know what's going to happen. As the hungry Marines finish their plates, the question remains, will Becky's barbecue sauce be enough to make up for the red team's sometimes raw pork oh chops? My God. Or will the Marines favor the blue team's less hearty, but fully cooked chicken That's and pasta? That's so scary. Marines, it's been an absolute honor to have the privilege to cook for you today. I'd like to invite you all to stand up in one big line, please. Straight down. Thank you. If ever there was a time to flash a nip, ladies. The chicken Dude, sounds bomb, up. though. Ryan is telling me to Oops, show them sorry. your nipples. What? they will get us more. What? Votes. Have some respect, man. I'm just kidding. If you prefer the red team's menu, two giant steps this direction. I'm just if you sitting, take a the joke. Blue team, two steps Dude. this direction. On the count of three. One. We don't know the count at this point, but I'm oh. thinking we have this in the bag. As long as it looks like Michael, red we one. Have this in the bag. Stay where you are. We're gonna have to take a count. Frank's a strong chef. He's a strong competitor. He's a good leader. It's gonna come down to the wire. There's a lot of people in that line. I'm super nervous about what's gonna happen. At this point, I don't know. It's a toss-up. I hear that the red team had a really beautiful-looking plate, and you know the fact that they have pork chops and hearty fare like that with potatoes. I'm like, yeah, he mm, needs that's an to leave for meal. sure. Okay, Marines. The winning entree belongs to the red team. So the red team wins by just 16 votes. Really? Day, it looks like it it's more than 16. How you get the job done, as long as the job gets done. Had a lot of chaos in the kitchen, but it's a good feeling. Everybody I know, I'm the surprised Blue though. Team, because, like, a very daunting they had... pressure test where. Well, minimum, Marines don't really eat pasta like that, you know? They just want, like. Frank's dish you know. was a terrible idea. I mean, he was playing to his strengths, and that's Italian food, and that's not American what the soldiers food. apparently like to eat. A lot of people on my team at this point feel upset. I personally felt responsible because Red. we picked the wrong food. You're feeding American troops. Barbecue pork chops, potato, and coleslaw, it's hard to make. Ribs would be good for Marines. I, I feel like disappointed um, in myself and to think that I have to go Aww. into a pressure test after what I already feel was a pressure test. I'm just really, really stressed out and I'm feeling overwhelmed. <laughs> After losing the first team challenge, the home cooks from the blue team await a pressure test where at least one contestant will be sent home. I think our team was better, oh, yeah. hands it's down. Cool. I cool. just think that they picked a protein that resonated. That's it. I don't think we deserve to be in this pressure test, but at the end of the day, it did come down to what those troops decided, so we had to take those licks. They made barbecue sauce from scratch for their pork. That's totally like... American. Total. We did a great job, but don't Total. expect any sympathy from anybody or any kind of praise when we go in there. We lost. We made great food. It just wasn't the right kind of food for yeah, the clientele. Yeah, the menu. And it sucks to know someone's got to go home. And there's only one master chef, and we're going to all be fighting for our lives. We're not this anymore, unfortunately. Now we're back to our little individual well, selves like fighting for our spot. Food. Pressure test is the death sentence. It is living hell. It is what Satan himself would fear. <laughs> Yesterday, you competed in your very first 
team challenge. While the red team, safe up in the gallery. Yeah, she doesn't Blue sound team, raspy anymore. You'll now right. have to face your very first pressure test. At least one of you will be leaving MasterChef tonight. I love eating food and watching MasterChef. Usually, Master Chef. the entire team will be competing in this pressure test. But today, one of you will get to sit it out. And the person who gets a pass will be decided by your team captain, Frank. Who do you think should be saved from today's pressure test? This is ridiculous to see you. You can. I'm glad he said this choose is yourself. ridiculous. Why would I choose myself, Chef? I got us here. I'm the one that needs to be cooking. Think oh, about it. Never mind. Well, Chef, and there's one person that had recommended macaroni and cheese and barbecue chicken. And I think that if we would have went that way, definitely we'd be standing up there and not down here. So I'm going to have to say Felix. No, I want to cook. Are you 100% positive that you want to stay and compete? Absolutely. Wow. I'm surprised Frank, she wants to stay. Next? Oh my god, this team is oh, wholesome. I'm, say Scott, then. I'm cooking. Guys. Oh my god! I can't believe Scott and Felix threw away an opportunity, a golden ticket okay, to Tally. be saved. <laughs> they are idiots. Frank, <laughs> this guy is like, I'll fucking go. Um, That's so Stacy's somebody that uh, deserves another shot in this kitchen. I'm gonna feel like such a I go up there. Stacy, are you joining the balcony or are you staying? I'm so sorry. No, Tally is I'll right, take but the past, Jeff. I say goodbye to your team. I still think it's respectful. I mean, I wouldn't call it stupidity. It's just like. <sighs> All right, your pressure test today is about the most American of desserts. For them to stay and not go up. Delicious, humble. Apple pie. Apple pie! A stunning crust of pastry on top. An immaculate, firm, crisp base underneath. Delicious apples in the center. Baking is not my forte at all. Visually, I'm at a disadvantage, get but I know I need to Get ready to tear up, get ready to get banned. Aesthetically Don't pleasing. Spoil. So I'm thinking this is my night I'm going home. At your stations, you will find all the basics for great apple pie. Guys, there's also additional ingredients. Should you choose to use them to differentiate your pie from everyone else's, you have an hour and 15 there's minutes a special place to cook one spoilers. amazing apple pie. When there's a big time fat starts. message that now. says no spoilers. In this right. pressure test, each home cook will be judged on the guys. filling, the crust, and the overall baking technique of their apple pie. I've made about eight apple pies in the last three months, so I'm feeling confident. I'm gonna knock this one out of the park. There's not really a tradition of apple pie in Chinese culture. I might be at a bit of a disadvantage, but at the same time, I know the chemistry behind it. And, it's too um, small. I feel like it's gonna be a great pie. I got you. Don't underestimate the simplicity of apple pie. For me, the most important is the perfect pastry. <sighs> Everything is about keeping that butter cold so that it remains flaky and doesn't melt. Exactly. Pastry has got to be made, put together, and then in the fridge to set. Right, and while it's in the fridge cooling, you're cooking your apples. I have to understand your apples. How much sugar, how much acidity, it's all about chemistry. There's a lot of, lot of technique we're asking for here. Right, Frank, tough start to a pressure test. It's very Not tough. Not easy. Never made an uh, apple pie before. The filling with the apples, what are you going to flavor them with? I got a little nutmeg, a little bit of cinnamon. I really want to be able to do that, like you wish flip now my thing around like upstairs? that, but no. it not fall out of my myself. pan. I want to win this competition with some integrity. Good luck. Oh, Cindy, did I cut myself? Am I bleeding? Medic. Oh, no. Michael, how are we doing? Crazy. Are you incorporating cheese into your crust? I'm sprinkling it on top to kind of help hold the top crust together and give it a little bit of saltiness. I know that apples and cheddar is a pretty classic combination. Apple and working. cheddar? In a baking dish, are you at a disadvantage when food goes in the oven? Yes, definitely. I'm going to have to rely on Cindy to tell me the color of the crust and then just try to time it. So I'm definitely nervous about that. Who's going home? Uh, I honestly think it's, it's probably going to be me. 
based on what we've seen so early on in this pressure test, Michael is a weak candidate. Right here, right? Yeah. I don't know about Christine. Ready? With food in the oven, she's at a major disadvantage. Yeah. But the thing is, she does know how to cook, and she knows how to season. So if those apples are delicious, then that's half the battle. OK, guys, we are just under 40 minutes to go. Oh, I want to make an apple pie. Probably be hitting the oven around now. Oh, I want to. Um, Scotty. Hey, all right, people, doing? make a list. I'm actually a little nervous. Eggs, Benedict. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm really worried about my apple dough, man. Pie. I don't know how to recover it. But I am clumping like crazy. Right now, all I can do is try to recover my ass off and try to keep Absolutely. the ball going. Clam chowder. It's not chilled. The butter's warm. I keep trying to salvage it, and I realize it's done. It's gone. The only thing I can do is scrap this over, try to make another little batch, try again. Michael Turner's just hurts. Filet salmon? Oh, let's just stay with those three for now. He's literally putting on top so it looks like a taco. He may as well bake his apron into the pie. Unbelievable. Just over 30 minutes to go. Everybody's pie should be in the oven. Yeah, I don't know why there's cheese on his fucking apple pie. It's so weird. There's no way. I just don't have any more flour. Felix, do you have extra flour? Here you go. Thank you. Oh, I really like Felix. Please get Was it really good? Okay, sorry. I'm oven. just ignorant. In this pressure test, seven of the home cooks well, from I'm the Lucy team are baking apple pies I hope to it keep does themselves well. in the competition. We're going to be eating some raw pie. Cindy, you know what time point my this pie went in? I just need to get that crust golden. The hard thing about baking with my vision loss is I can't really taste it midway through. Like, I can with cooking other things. What is the color of the crust? Right now, it's like a game of luck, and that's really scary. Get that in the oven. Get it in there, Scotty. Get it in there. Next time, when you get a pass, if you're here long enough, do me a favor. Yes, chef. Take it. Yes, chef. Oh. Last three minutes. Make this count. And I'm making sure the bottom doesn't burn. Come on, hi. Please start cooking faster. <laughs> this could be the most important 60 seconds of your master chef existence. My crust would not form. So what I ended up doing is just breaking the thinnest pieces I could off and sort of making a shaved crust effect. 10, 9, 8, 7, you gotta do, 6, you gotta do. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Great job, you guys. Oh, that looks... Right. Burn. Time to taste. Frank, first up. Let's go. All three judges will taste each home cook's apple pie, and once the tasting is completed, at least one person will be sent home. I put some walnuts, I put some pecans in the flour for I the crust. I love those I thought two a small nuts. ratio would add a little texture and flavor. I want to hear that crisp. Oh my Freshness god, me too, please. I want, I want to hear it too. too, Chef. Good. Yes. Is there? It's a little bit there. Come on, let's see it. That looks beautiful. Wow. The pastry's literally crumbling in my fingers. You've never cooked an apple pie before? No. Mm. I swear to god, I never cooked one. Oh, I hope it tastes good, man. I want to learn Frank. so I could just make one. It's absolutely delicious. Yeah. Wow! Can you I redeem have yourself. Well done. Thank you so much. Great job. It's really delicious. The crust is extremely mm. flaky. Awesome. And the apples are melting your mouth. Oh, man. Good job. Thank you. I'm so jealous of the judges. It's, um, it's got a lot of finesse. Cool. You might have baked your way into the next phase of this competition, my friend. Good job. Thank mm -hmm. you. Great job. Well done. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Tanya? Everything is riding on this one apple pie. It could cost me this competition and send me home. Tell me about your pie. I wanted to do a play on a caramel apple. I threw in some pecans and walnuts, tossed the apples in Wow, that. another one with pecans and walnuts. The apples seem a little bit oh, firm, no. which would say what? That they're undercooked. That they're undercooked. 
Okay, but that's not the worst. It's apples. a pasty white crust with undercooked, overseasoned apples, an abundance of nuts that really don't have a place in there, as far as I'm concerned. Just really not very good. Sorry. Well, what's the seasoning on the Frank apples? Frank had pecan um, and walnuts, and, nutmeg. and you didn't this is a say. Soggy mess. I'm sorry to tell you this, but this is your worst dish oh, no. you've ever cooked in this competition so far. It's like my worst nightmare is coming true. And I don't want to be done here. Oh, it was no crushed No part of me wants to be done here. Got it. All right, tally, let's go. I it put it in brown sugar, a little simple syrup, burnt. some calvados, cinnamon, nutmeg, and some cardamom. But it overall looks great. Only one side. And the other side looks great. So the crust looks actually cooked. It's kind of thick. It's like there's no one home on the inside. Oh, that no. was my bad. I should have put more apples in it. Can I try? Oh, I think Joe likes it because right, he licked his come forward, finger. Felix. How are you? I'm good. I did a caramel and I did a candy ginger as I well. I love Felix. I'm pleased with how it looks, but I'm not sure how it's the inside is going to be. It's beautiful. Visually, it looks like she you took a brush. ran and grabbed it out of a professional kitchen. And yeah, it, back. it looks so. It looks the best in. out of everyone's. The pie. Is it? What does this mean? I'm not a chef. It looks good to me though. Do you it's like not it? as sweet as I thought it was going to be. Oh, no. The outside is so beautiful, but the inside, unfortunately, doesn't take it over the top. Thank you. I'll eat it, Okay, Felix. Michael. I'm feeling oh pretty good God, walking my pie up. Oh, well, I'll it may not be it. the best out of the best pies, it's, it's definitely going to keep me. me safe from elimination today. What in God's good earth inspired you <laughs> to cover your <laughs> apple pie with cheese? What in I God's think good earth? It sets me apart a little bit, and I think it also helps it get the It does set him apart. <laughs> definitely got a little crunch to it. Of course, that's from the cheese. It's watery. The cheese flavor is completely dry and crusty. There's no bottom crust. I'll be back at school soon. Oh, shit. I want to get rid of that horrible. Murky bath water first. What is all that? <gasps> it's no! Like butter and the brown sugar and the apple juice and shit. It's like someone's the bed. It's raw. It's a mess. It's not an apple pie. Scott, let's go. Michael. This is the longest, hardest, and most embarrassing walk. If my head was any lower, it'd be scraping the ground. Oh my god, oh no. Oh. God. I don't even know where to start. What in the f is that? A disaster. A crust gone wrong <laughs> twice. Why? And an attempt at a recovery. Tell me that I've got something in there that actually tastes like the inside of an apple pie. I believe you do. The apples are delicious, but you've got the balance of the tartness right, and there's no liquid at the bottom. But you've screwed the pastry. Yes, chef. The filling's great. It would have been nicer with the bottom. Agreed. It tastes edible. Christine. Yeah. Yes, chef. Let's go, it just please. looks horrible. Oh, I'm God, really worried. I'm, I'm not even sure if the bottom crust cooked all the way. I had no idea what the pie was like on the inside. That's really scary. I feel like I need a miracle, but honestly, I, I you got think I'm this. gonna be going home. You got this. The judges have tasted six of the seven apple pies made for this pressure test. Christine has the last pie to be tasted before the judges decide who will be sent home. How are you, Christine? I'm all right, Chef. Okay, first of all, I've never seen you that flustered. And then, her the eyes 18 just minutes sparkle. to go, you still were not in the oven with your apple pie. What the hell is going on? Honestly, Chef, there's just no excuse. I just was flustered. And I just, I'm not experienced with making pie at all, so bro. there's just really no excuse. What do you think this pie looks like? Bubba Joe. I think it probably looks like a pile of rubbish. Welcome back. Thank you. Visually, it looks stunning. Wow. It's got a nice crisp 
dark brown colour on the edge. Wow! Thank you, chef. The sugar has almost glazed the pastry, and it looks as delicious as Frank's. So stop doubting yourself. Be bold. Yes, chef. Okay. It looks so great. The pie underneath. The pastry looks cooked. Can you hear that on top? Yes, chef. What does that sound like to you? It sounds good and crusty. Good and crusty. So, stop feeling I love her. upset with yourself. And good okay. job, Gordon, for telling her. You've got to start believing yourself more. Okay? Come on. Come on. Right. Hear that? Yes, chef. There's not a soggy patch on there. That's all the way round. Okay? Can you hear that? On the balcony, you can hear that, right? Yes, 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 sir. It looks great and inside. It's intact, right in front of your very eyes, I have a wedge. Oh, thank God. Of a beautiful apple pie. And the flavour? The flavor's amazing. Yay! Okay? It's delicious. So well done. Okay? Congratulations. Really good job. All of you, please come down to the I front. I love her. Oh my God. Cortessa, thank you for the prime. Thank you. That was a very tough pressure test. 75 minutes to make one of the most famous desserts anywhere in the world. A humble apple pie. Frank, Christine, Felix and Tali, step forward, please. Thank you. They go through. You all made pies that were good enough to keep in the competition. Congratulations. Join the balcony, please. Thank you, Chef. Michael. Yes, Chef. Went overboard with the cheese. Yes, Chef. I Misinterpreted the classic apple pie. Tanya, big disaster. Your apple pie was like the shock factor for all of us. Scott, I didn't think an apple pie would beat you. I didn't honestly think something oh as God. simple okay. and as delicious as that would get the better of you. Tasted fine. But his Tanya, looked the step worst forward, please. for sure. I, I, I don't want to go home. Tanya. You made it to the last 15 upstairs. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Get a grip, Tanya. Get a grip. <laughs> Michael, Scott, <laughs> only one of you is staying in this competition tonight. Get a she's I crying on her way up. I made a few small mistakes, but what I really feel fuck? like Scott made a much worse dish than I did. This is insane. I can't believe that I chose to stay and actually do the pressure test. And now it might be going home. The person leaving MasterChef. Oh, Catches. Thank you for the prime. Thank you. Catches We're sorry to say. I think Michael's going home. Michael. Oh. Come up here, young man. 19 okay, years of age. I read the script. You have a great future in food. I wrote it. Well done. Come on. You should be really proud. Well done, buddy. He is really young, though. He should keep Please at it. Please take your apron off, place it over your station, and keep that head up high. I came here because I wanted to prove that I'm the it takes TVA. To be my great chef. You know, I just didn't expect to be going home so early. I'm proud of the things that I was able to do all the way up until this challenge. Congratulations. And one of the most confident yeses ever in this competition. Really? Well done. It's been a great ride and a great experience, and I'm very thankful for that, and I wouldn't trade that for anything. <laughs> Scott, Kids, you've been down oh, here twice thank you now. For the prime. Yeah? Thank Trust you. me, the third time here will not be lucky for you. 
back upstairs. Yes, chef. This guy is... I have another chance. And I just know I have absolutely zero margin for error going it's forward. It's just... Struggling. Oh, no spoilers. Oh, I caught it in time. Nice. Hell yeah.